The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. All right. All right. Hello. We are, What's up, gang? We are up in this piece. Pick your voices up, man. Yeah, you sound like NPR right now. Come on, pick your voices up. <laughs> yeah, what do, what do NPR stand for? National Public Radio. Mm. Mm. Learn something. Learn something from Parks all the time. NPR. <laughs> 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 How y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Feeling great, man. Feeling good, man. Feel good. How Glad you to feel? be here. I'm all right. I heard you. You're trying to get me to go home. I mean, I am too. We, we you got and, this. You and Flip. We got this. They trying to get you to go home? Yeah. Why? Well, they see me just chilling. We heard you were sick, man. He's in super struggle mode. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Come I don't know about in. super struggle, but yeah. he's struggling. Pox, you don't man. have that. Like, Pox, come on. He's not doing the head magneto shit. He's doing that shit, man, Pox. All right, all right. The nigga's struggling. Get him out of here. Well, I agree with that. Thank you. Go oh, home. okay. I take it back. Yeah. We good now. <laughs> we good. <laughs> oh, Listen, God. this is why all of you are paid the big bucks. So when I come in fucked up like this... Who could just hold it's it? Not now. what you said on Patreon, but the last Patreon. But we'll, 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 go, we'll go with it. All you said we got to do is this. <laughs> So you said we had right? to do exactly, and she did it. <laughs> I, ca- I called if him at a any fucking point liar during the pod. Y'all want me to go home? I'll go. Home. Nah, I'm still okay. on the big bucks. Okay, nah, I'm still on the big bucks. Stop doing that. Pardon me. Nah, fuck me. Anytime it comes to money and shit, you that's not me. Stop. That's, you. That's, I, that's far I'm saying from it. me. That's you, nigga. And your, nah, stop, and your you lips. Know. Chill. <laughs> Yeah, what? You got lipstick no, on, man. Lips. You got lipstick on. Hey, yo, don't do that, please. Lips got <laughs> lipstick on. Hey, hey, yo, blubber. Oh, damn. <laughs> God, chill. Yeah. I got blubber on. You got blubber on. You wear it. You wear it like a fitted. It's all right, brother. All right. Stop look at, looking me up at this. <laughs> That's crazy, son. I was telling you that you shopped at Payless off mic. And, you, and I, you told me as a kid you didn't. I didn't. Okay. You didn't get no loafers from there? Nothing? Who? Loafers? I didn't even know they had loafers. I think that's all they sell, isn't it? I don't know what to say. Your guess would be as good as I've never gone to pay less for you. Got it. In my life. Hey, I work I worked <coughs> to pay less for a couple of days. You lying. Yes. Yeah, you mm-hmm. told the story, right? When mm-hmm. the, they left you on the floor oh, by yourself or something. No, no, no. That was Baker's. Oh. I, <laughs> you Al Bundy? When I left Baker's. <laughs> <laughs> went, I went down to the other end of the mall. <laughs> hit up pay less. That wasn't my swag. You went to the competition? <laughs> That wasn't my story. So funny man. putting the, 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 the rubber soles on a nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas doing your numbers in that Hudson Mall, uh, huh? I can't. Uh, no, that was Newport. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Newport. Don't do that. I can't work nowhere where ain't nothing in there I want to steal. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean, fast. Right. That's right. true. Right. That ain't nothing in pay less for me to steal back in the day. Socks. That'd be yeah, motivation. Let me oh, go to work man. tomorrow and see what I come up with. Mm-hmm. Devise a plan on how to put it in the back stock room. That's a perk. And go out it the is. door with you it. Yeah. Right. That's a perk. They don't put it in the contract, but it's a perk. It's Shout out to everybody stealing from their job. Facts. Mm. Shout out to the boosters just because. <laughs> the old ones. We Shout out to everybody out there, the boosters. That's true. Shit ain't good no more. Oh, I don't. I just Yo, ain't in the demo. Right. No, you or you the demo. <laughs> I used to be a you monster. You the demo. You just gave a nigga mattress. You came in last week with that Sherlin from the from the back of the truck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. the back I, the... I know that Sherlin. Yo, are you crazy? That shit had all the creases from the eighties, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know that, Sherlyn. Can't that's hire them, lot, buddy. A lot of character. A <laughs> lot of character. Yo, what's wrong with this fool, yo? Shout to everybody oh, out there man. at work that's keeping your social media pages away from your coworkers because you know they'll snitch on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want Timothy to know that you be twerking in your free time. <laughs> <He's got laughs> yeah, you, you you front like you a church mm-hmm. church girl of Timothy. Shout out to those of you going to HR, letting them know your coworker keep coming in smelling like weed. Snitching. Right. It's legal now. It's legal. That don't mean you could come in to work smelling like weed. It's, it's cologne. I want work rules. I wonder what yeah, work rules. That's a good, that is a good question. I, I wonder though. what. Yeah. Policies is policies though. Can't you go can't you go should go be allowed to. I don't alcohol know. is legal. You can't come to work smelling like alcohol. <laughs> that's true. You will get fired. I, what if I come to work with some cologne that's just 
Don't smell good. Smell like whiskey? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's just a cologne that niggas don't like. You should get it written up for that too. <laughs> oh, then, then I'm with I you. I wonder what that, yo, no bullshit. It gotta, be, gotta be something. The they will fire you. I'm telling you. Yeah, they'll fire smoke you. weed. Yeah. They might, like, I, I remember at one of my jobs, we had a dude that was coming in there smelling like liquor, and they they took him to get tested, and he failed the test, and they fired him while failing the test. Mm -hmm. True. Because now they got suspicion because of the smell. Because he, but, the, but you was driving. No, Me. no, he wasn't driving. You can't drive high either. He wasn't driving. He wasn't a driver. But oh, you 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 drunk at work though. I love us telling ish the 2024 laws. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, corporate shit. I, I, all no, them I, little girls, them, them girls you know that work at the dentist's office can't come and smell like weed. Man, all of a sudden, mouth smell like mad bud. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yo. And oh, get the slip in with the drill. <laughs> Oops. Even though it bad. probably enhanced your performance. Oh, or, or not. Or not. Here, go, here go another one that never had a real job. I have. Here go another one that never really worked. I, Who the other one? Me. I'm saying you said I've another. had, oh, I've say had about me. so many jobs. What was the last job you had? Melissa Ford. I'm at it right oh. now. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. No, Mel had the jobs. Remember, they had her doing the, the, the dry cleaning shit, you know. I told she you was, about that. That was my first job. I was, <laughs> I'm trying not to say I was 11. But then she was a bartender in New York. So. Yeah, and that's well. I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff in between. I used to work at the Olive Garden. <laughs> you bought them niggas oh, out them breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I sure, I sure did, and I ate the fuck out of them. I gained 15 pounds in six months. And the olives, bringing them out. I was bringing. Right? I was. How old were you? She was sitting? sixteen. Oh, never mind. Yo, what? I thought she was an adult. Yo, you can't say that. <laughs> no, I want to know if she was a job, man. Fucking, but it was a job. I got, I got a paycheck. Job. It's a job, but I'm saying an adult. No, we're Quite talking about job. adulthood. We don't need to meander right now. We're talking about adulthood. Real estate? Exactly. Oh, when you saw that $2 million property. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, fuck off. <laughs> got you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Flip and Mel, 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 Mel. How's everybody doing? What episode is this? 693. Welcome to episode 693 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest, the beautiful, the loquacious, <laughs> talented. <laughs> Melissa Ford is in the building. Who who? There's a story going around about you consoling R. Kelly. Really? <laughs> my, 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 my. my. Angela Yee. It's true. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Clear that up go. quick. There we go. <laughs> got right to the truth. Yeah. I like that. Uh, we got the big flip. Big flip is in the building. Queens, what up? Flip is here. Ish is here. Ish, you had a question? You good? That's once. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's my tracker. What's once with what? My tracker for when you do that. I you got a question? Yeah, fam, fam. He was talking to you. You talking to uh, Newark's you. finest Antoine Issues here. Big Library. Freeze is in the building. None other than Ice himself. Mm -hmm. Big Parks is here. Yep. Poe is here. Corey's here. Who's that? Ian is here. Erickson is here. How's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? What's going on? Talk amazing. to me. Feeling great. I'm feeling great. Feeling man. amazing. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. Mel, Happy to be here. Mel is my 1A today. She will coast us through this thing. As I get myself together. Mm. Okay. Big I feel like man. We're going to learn about the patriarchy today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. I they swear. already started. They had her going to get them waters. That, mm. That's true. I saw it. Mm. It's my boys. About? The patriarchy. No, no. No, no. Okay. No. Put the kibosh on that for today. What did you giving them today? You're giving them some biz casual. What, what you got going on here? You got the blazer, but you got the. Sport the, blazer. The, the gunner tights. <laughs> the gunner, what, yeah, what you got? What, what you got going on today? Sure, sporty casual. Let's go with that. Yeah, a little biz, biz bizletic. Bizletic. <laughs> like some biz, I like that. Bizletic shit like going that. on. You should, yeah, you should coin that phrase. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all feeling good? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Feeling good. It looked like y'all smell good. Let's get right to it. All mm. right. I was stuck on the consoling part. What happened? Her consoling R. Kelly. He wanted to know more uh, details. 
Everybody did. Ain't no, 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 nigga. Don't put everybody in it. Go ahead. Stand on your own. <laughs> you have a question? Yes. Yeah, you heard what he asked. Let's get straight to it. Okay. We're being direct today. Okay. Uh, I did an art, an interview with R. Kelly back in, I want to say, 2005. <sighs> and um, what? I was instructed that I couldn't ask him any questions about any upcoming legal issues or trials or anything like that. Gotcha. So we conducted the interview, and then afterwards, the so team... still did it. You still did it. Well, yeah, I mean, it was my job. Mm. Yeah. She got um, the green. You, and, you hmm? left here when the Coach Roy came up here. Yeah. What are you talking about my job? <laughs> she said never again. She learned. I learned. Yeah, she right? learned from that. To mm. Coach Roy. All right. <laughs> Um, and so then afterwards, we, you know, the team, him, everybody went out to dinner. Um, and we were at like this restaurant that was like kind of attached to the Gansevoort Hotel in meatpacking. And Angela was there. Yeah. Um, and she looks over and he's literally like got his head on my shoulder crying on me. Yeah. And I don't really know how to explain why he was crying. He just was. So I just was in a really awkward position where I was like, they're there. They're that, there. Old, that old move. <laughs> oh, y'all went there there after? No. Oh, are you fucking yeah. crazy? Gotcha. That was that was weird. I don't think that she's his demo. Exactly. <laughs> oh five. Exactly. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh -oh. She's his consoler though. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well into my twenties. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> I was so, just that's it. I, no, gotcha. That's I was it. just trying to. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you for being a consoling person. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, so I'm, I'm an empath. Yeah. A nurturer. You, know? you are I'm an empath. empath. Here's my thing. Here's my thing about these things. Like, these things come out about you later on. Next time, we would love for you to volunteer this information, especially when we're kicking his back in, that you was a, his consoler. You know, sometimes I forget. Uh, you know, so much just happens. Ah, uh, God. Uh, right. you, you and Michael McDonald. The <laughs> 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 memory, memory is so fickle. <laughs> yeah. I, was on, me, I was online today, not today, yesterday. Every day. And I, yeah. And I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, online today. I want to know the story about the Green Lantern Green Room thing. Um, I know I listened to it, I saw Hollow the Dawn posted, and, and you went off. But, you know, there was a lot of variables in the picture. So I want to know, like, what was that experience like? Who was in the room? I want to hear from your mouth about that whole Green Lantern. Did they really have you wait? How long did you wait for? Can you explain that to me, that story, please? Uh, I was up there to promote Move Music 3, I want to say. So what is this, 07? Somewhere around there. Yeah, Move Music 3 is 07. Uh, and Green Lantern, that's my man. But he had told me Shut to go green. wait in the green room because he had somebody in there. It's like, all right, that's cool. Then he had somebody else in there, so I was waiting some more. Then somebody else came. Then somebody else came. I'm like, dog, yo, dog, enough. Enough of this. Like, I don't want to hang out with none of you niggas. I want to come, say a rap, promote my shit, and leave. So I went in there, did that. And there was some porn stars upstairs. Like, get me out of here. I went to run the streets. <laughs> but, but that's what happened. Went up there. Wrapped. When you waited, classic, yes, classic, classic moment. You created did did your weight contribute to your energy that you, you know? Oh yeah, I was angry. Yeah, I was <laughs> upset. I was upset. <laughs> I was back there for way too long. Why ain't Why ain't staying there with them spitters? Nobody spit after me. Yes, they did. I didn't see it. You left, nigga. Oh. There's no more yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> no more to say. Oh, Shit, no. after that freestyle, you can leave. No, nah, yeah. no, you don't. You gotta nah, stay in with those spitters. I'll kick a couple more. It's, no, you don't. It's, I'm one of the best rappers that have ever been born on this one. planet. I agree. And that room knows it. I, there was no I, room I, for I, me. I and that room What's I gotta do it? No, so you knew who was there? This nigga crazy. No, I didn't know who was there. I learned but as they were there. Time. I oh, learned. I learned in real it. time all the people that got Green Lantern it. thought that I should wait behind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got beans. All right, oh, we got beans of freeware here now. Give it. A, oh no, we got Sad. staff people. We need another ten minutes. With no, we need it, nigga. All right, dog. All oh, that's cool. Let's just wrap so I can go. But classic moment. And did. And yeah, good times. That's one of the ones right there. Good times up there. What do y'all want to talk about? Anything y'all want to talk about? It's y'all world today. Mel, will you lead us to the promised land? Please? Yeah, come on. Oh. What? I didn't say nothing. Just very directly. I mean, you got, don't, if you guys leave it up to me, I'm going to be like, Oscars nominations were announced. I mean, All I'm right. not bad at yeah. it. Yeah. Good. Come on. Take we're, it away. We're following you. He gave you the A mic today. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> well, what jumped out to you right away? I am so fucking excited <laughs> right now. Yeah. And don't um, say nothing, nigga. Don't interrupt her. Go, dude. What jumped out at me is the fact that. Ooh, uh, it jumped out at you. Wow. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Did you literally just say don't interrupt her and then you interrupted oh. me? Do you have a drop for that now? Oh. I feel uh, like it, exactly. Mm. <laughs> no, it's true. Look at Big Mel got the board together. Yeah. Yeah. Got, that was with there. Joe, go home, man. Don't, don't, don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so Barbie, Oppenheimer, um, Killers of the Flower Moon, they were announced, they got a lot of announcements. Um, I, I watched that yeah. this weekend, Killers Kill of the Flower Moon. I watched that too. I, I did started well. it about four times. That movie long as hell, man. It's three and a half it hours. I, saw it. I liked it. I saw it a month ago. It was really good. Really good movie. Did you watch I can't it? get through it. Okay. I don't blame you. Um, it, it's a difficult movie to yeah. watch. It's it traumatic really is. shit too. It's, it's like, really traumatic. That shit is foul shit. I, I was fucked up all day the next day. Like, it was really, like, awful. Like, yeah. I saw the play coming. I was like, they're not really doing this. I, oh, yeah. yeah y'all gonna tell the fans. Y'all are really y'all. telling the audience whatever <laughs> the I don't fuck y'all are talking Okay, sorry. Killers of the Flower Moon is the, <clears throat> um, it's uh, about the murders in Osage County um, back yes. in the 1920s when they discovered oil on their lands. Mm -hmm. um, the Osage uh, indig indigenous people. And so it stars uh, Lily Gladstone, Robert De Niro, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. So the natives found oil on their land. They were down bad. They found oil in the land. Now they're the richest people in the fucking world. Yes. All the white people move in there. They start marrying the native uh, women and then killing everybody. Yes. To yeah. get the money. Yeah. They married. They had, Super foul. they had children with them so the, the heir could pass down Correct. to the children. Mm -hmm. Correct. To the child. Or even the husband would inherit the yeah. shit. Yeah. Yes. From, yeah. From super foul. Yeah. So it was, yeah, super insidious. So that was like leading all, all the nominations. So, um, They've got like best picture, best director, um, best actress. So what was missing was Barbie, um, best actress, Margot Robbie, and best director, um, Greta Gerwig. They were both left off the um, the nomination list. But, Ken got a nomination though. Huh? But Ryan, ah, Ryan Gosling go. got the nomination yeah. for best supporting actor, which is hilarious yeah. and wildly ironic because it's a movie about patriarchy. So it's a true story then. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Art imitates life. You can't fucking make the shit up. Hey, the game is the game. Yeah. He did a great job. All right. Amazing. Hope he wins. Same room for him. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? I ain't saying nothing. He's not going to win. Who's going to win? Um. <laughs> He's going to win. That's yeah. what that sounds like. Yeah. I know. I got Robert Downey Jr. and Oppen Oppenheimer winning that one. Okay. Yeah, he was good. Got yeah. you. Okay. I'm, go I'm going with Ken. Yeah. But yeah, he's up against Ken. Robert De Niro, um, Robert Downey Jr., Mark Ruffalo from Poor Things, and Sterling K. Brown in American Fiction. He's There's no chance in hell he's winning. I didn't see that. He nominated. He got a chance. He's got no chance. All right. Like Come on. The, the over under, I don't even know how that shit works, but got he's it. like literally like the. the I got you longest shot in ever. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just to really sum it up, because I'm just going to focus on everybody black, because fuck it. Um, Coleman Domingo, uh, he got a nomination for actor in a leading role for his uh, for the movie Rustin. Jeffrey Wright got a nomination for actor in a leading role for American Fiction. Big Jeffrey Wright. I okay, mean. Okay, Whoa. Big That's Jeffrey major. Wright. That's major. Oh, my God. Yo, I really up. wish you knew. <laughs> I do. Like, I wish you I'm, knew who the fuck we're talking I'm about I'm participating. Right now. Continue. Okay. I'm doing my job. I'm going... <laughs> Continue. I'm, I'm going to have to fucking teach you who this motherfucker is, okay? He is, he's him. Um, Danielle Brooks got Best Supporting Actress nominee for The Color Purple. Nice. Fantasia was not given um, a nomination, and people are fucking freaking out about that. And also, Anjanou Ellis for Origin, she didn't get a nomination, which is just blasphemy. Um, Sterling K. Brown, uh, like I said, he got Best Supporting Actor nominee, and Best Supporting Actress nominee is Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Okay. okay. A lot of these, I, some Salute. of these movies I've seen, some I haven't. So before. You know, the actual ceremony, I'm going to like, gonna you know, I'm going to try That's and dope. catch up it. on, on everything. But I mean, yeah, we should all see we should all see American fiction, though, with Jeffrey Wright. OK, that's that is if I, if I was, <laughs> as a group, right? If I, listen, anytime I try and get y'all into fucking group activities, True. everybody fucking you know, you say shits all over Whatever me. You so say queen, exactly. bless your heart. Can't call him queen. Oh, 
It's lady. Like, it's a slight today. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's um, it's it's Paris Fashion Week again. It mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. So one of the stories that popped out was um, Quavo and Chris Brown. Yeah. Were seated next to each other at a fashion show. Mm-hmm. That's so, what I pick. yeah, the picture went around. So a lot of people started commending Chris Brown. Like they all shouts to the growth because they had static. Mm-hmm. What they had static around and you keep up. Can't what, keep up. What do two men usually have static over? C and C, difference of opinions. Coochie and Cash. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Dog. One of the two. One of the two gonna bring the beef out. Which yo, one? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yo. Oh, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. And we we'll bring the beef out and, 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 too. And they right? might bring the yeah. beef out. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So evidently they beefing over a woman. Well, it was funny because Chris Brown saw all of this and responded to it and was like, "Hey, hey hold up. ain't no growth." I couldn't pick I my seat. I couldn't pick my seat. They put me here. And I ain't about to fuck my bag up because of this little nigga. Shout mm-hmm. out to two niggas from the hood coming together and not fucking the bag. Right, you got to love it. You got to love, love, love it. I love that shit. And it's all right to say, just because you see... I, I wish more people do that. Yo, yeah. just because you saw me, well, we not tight, nigga. But there was money at play and I'm not about to fuck this bag I wonder up. if their legs was touching paws. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know when you sit close to a nigga, your leg be touching? Nah, I went, nah. I, I looked, I zoomed in nah. to see which, if the, if the back, because you could tell. They their was leg close, was, close. They was, nigga. They, they were, were sitting right No, it was like. No, there wasn't even that much space. between us. If the leg was touching the six figures. Seven. Seven yeah, figures. Seven, seven, <laughs> if the legs seven, were seven, touching. Because that's like when you heard the story about 50 and Ja Rule sitting in the same aisle on the plane. Certain shit, you just got to. Yeah, they don't help with you. Get with, it shaking on that plane. What we'll come with that? Exactly. No flowers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I want even even that. I, I want to be there. I wonder what nigga was saying. I wonder if nigga fifth was watching some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> he said job was looking straight. I just wanted the energy on them. Accidentally shit. take your headphone yeah. out. And you're you know you can, plane. You know you can't fight on a plane. No, hell no. Going down. They, they confiscating everything. And wherever they was going, they might have been going to get another big big bag. True. In route. True. Probably. So, True. No. Yeah. You got. You got. You know what. So we professionalism. Humbling yourself for the bag is important. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah. Some Humble people need to learn it because niggas grown. are gonna fuck the bag up. Yeah, we grown. But don't say. And Chris grown. and Chris Brown can't afford no more negative press. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. We in a in a whole different country. I might mm-hmm. be going on an international tour soon. I don't need I, none I don't of that want shit. No problem. And, and he know y'all just waiting for me to even look wrong. True. Y'all can't wait for it. So y'all can't wait to. Me just have a fucked up look on my face and here it go. So nope. Who who they beefing over? Word on we, the street is it still over. They have like a fight at like BT Awards over Karuchi. So this is apparently long standing beef. I can see. I can see that. Nigga, throw Listen. me in that beef. Pause. No, sorry. No. <laughs> sorry. I can't do it. But promising. I'm just saying, she fire. Yeah, she, 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 is. Is. she is. She's nice. Cer- certain ones you see, and you say, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand. Mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at that one. Nigga, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of different countries ish, you know, your man Meek said, he asked the Africans, he tweeted, <laughs> How do y'all? Why y'all like that? What he said? We, Parks, stay quiet. This is black shit. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> he, he tweeted, how do people in Africa listen to his music? Now oh, I saw it. <laughs> I feel Shout like out. we I feel like we have to do this justice by reading the actual tweet. All right, I'll read the tweet. Parks Please. cannot read it. He I'll read it. I'll read it. <laughs> like if, if Parks read it, would that I mean, be fine? No, he could read it no, and then and then we'll oh, read shit. the comments. Go. You want me to read it? Okay. Yeah. So Parks got wait, 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 wait. tweets are tough to read. I'm not going to lie. I'll give it a shot though. I'll give it a shot. Come I on. don't stand with this. <laughs> let me let me try my best. <laughs> okay. So far. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta do it slowly. <laughs> Wait, don't say that. Just read it. Don't don't put no prefix on it. Do a lot of people play my music in South Africa? I remember having on big show there, uh, like the wrong there, few years back. How do y'all listen to our music in South Africa? On what platform or in Nigeria? <laughs> and they went I love me yo. <laughs> Oh I thought you was going to read the comments yo, no, 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 no 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 I thought we were out of here No I thought we were going If up he like said that. like Ireland Then I would oh. chime in But <laughs> German Yeah Yo somebody said uh, Yo we listen to American music From Zebra Stripes <laughs> Yo the white stripes Play the likes of Taylor Swift And the black stripes Play your music <laughs> Yo Yo, this is great, yo. Oh, man, yo. Somebody say, yo, we got one person in the village, and he comes every week and just, he's the t- uh, the, 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 the the town, town crasher, and he sings your music for us. That's crazy. I love, yo, Meek, Meek Tweet just give you one every time, bro. Every time. 
every And it's time. like often too. Yeah. It's like daily. I mean, we love Meek, man, but we got to, he's crazy say, asking that. Like, do he be trolling, I think? No, no I think, I think that he, sounded be, he pretty be really genuine. thinking something and it just comes out wrong. Now, he 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 came back and, and, and tried to clean it up. He said, basically, he was asking how they listen to music in Africa because he wants to handle his business. He said, none of my contracts say that they have rights to distribute me in Africa. So I'm basically looking for the money trail. He don't know what platforms they use in South Africa. Yeah, got it. So that was his. He only wants to know about South Africa. He doesn't want to know about the rest of the continent. I mean, maybe taking baby steps. Okay. Or looking for the loophole in the contract to see how I could go get capitalized off of my money at other places first. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I ain't, like Meek is another one who's gotten to that point in his career where I'm realizing how much money I made them mm. versus how much money I made. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to correct these steps going forward mm. where, all right, we end in that. Now, I might still be contractually obligated to whatever. But now I'm trying to get my business right. Or, mm -hmm. or I got my lawyers with a fine tooth comb yeah. <laughs> trying to find the loopholes like, yo, y'all yeah. not distribute, um, y'all got distribution over here and over here. All right, cool. Let me go over there. Right. Why do niggas wait so long to get their business together? It's, it's not a matter of waiting so long. Same thing with me. I'm, I'm speaking look, from experience. But look, Flip, why what, do we do that? What usually happens is, yeah, it'd it be you, hard you, to do when it. When you too sign that you're... first contract, you don't really know what you're signing. You don't know what you and don't know until you know it. Sometimes it takes we a minute hit, to listen, know it. Listen, listen, no, no, we're ignorant. We hear everybody complain and say what they went through and what they would do different. And black people, when we go into it, we say, before we get into it, we're like, nah, we're going to do this different. And we just follow the same steps. But think about it. Like it's, it's, All of us do it. It's, it's, not, it's just recently that people are being you know, gener generous and like sharing information. Yeah. Like people mm -hmm. used to like hold their cards that's real true, close to the true, vest, wouldn't let you know what they were making. You yep, know what I'm saying? Yep. Like there was always like this like weird kind of culture of silence around that shit. Us. Yeah, just mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. because others they speak about they get money talking. frequently. Yo, you know, like, know that? like the country singers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who they in the blowfish? All of that shit. They're they not share. Country, you ass. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> <laughs> what? You got it, my nigga. No, I think that um the information. This is the information age. Instagram, all of that shit is just pushing out information. Not just that. If you got fucked in your deal back in the day, you wasn't proud about it. Yeah. That's true. You know what I mean? You don't want to tell Shorty that you broke. She fucking with you because she think you up. Yeah. And, and, yo, the nigga, optics were really wait, important. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say this. Let me See? just... See? I don't know. I want to tell you this. Stay on that real quick, man. Hold me down. Mm -hmm. The shit that you have to go through to prove that you not broke, nigga, it be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the shit you got to borrow, the cars you got to rent, you got to do a lot of shit to prove you not broke. That's and true. if you about to get caught in the, in the shit fire... What do you do? I've done some. Yo, I, I did crazy in my twenties. In my twenties, admittedly, I've done some wow, goofy shit. Like, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, come on, nigga. Real <laughs> quick, give, give me two. Okay, <laughs> it's my fault. Um, in my twenties, all right. Me, me, and my man used to live together, so my man was up. Uh huh. You know mm. what I'm saying? He was up, up. So you know, you'll have a chick come through, or whatever, and you'll just do some goofy shit like. Pull a money out, pull a banger out, mm, anything. If you yeah. know, what well, you know they, yo, word. This was before the cell phone. So mad loud. On the so phone. you'll be on the phone like, what? A nigga did what? Oh, I'm no, coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just be like, all right, all right, I'm gonna put it on the porch. You just pull the thing out. You go put it on the porch. You be like, oh my goodness. Oh, you crazy. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 it was over, like, dumb shit. And it be fucked up when you're not on the same page as your OGs. One time, Webb let me hold the Dodge Magnum for a week. Now I'm driving to school, <laughs> acting like it's mine. I'm lit. I, I got the, the paperwork he had, like my name. I was just lying, nigga. It's my shit showing insurance. And then one time, nigga, one time, because he used to have this white Plymouth. That was his hoopty. One time, I was with somebody in the car. I just came from Van Buren. And that Plymouth and, pulled up now, on you. The Plymouth pulled up on me at Margaritas. Ooh. Now, Webb could have let me rock. No. Nigga, switch cars, nigga. I had to get out, take the bat, and she was the baddest in the school, and put her in the Plymouth, nigga, oh, with kind seats. <laughs> with what seat? The what soft shit. Oh, yeah. Sorry, same <laughs> shit. It might as well have been kind. Yeah, yeah. But I sat there, and, I rem and I'm thinking to myself, like, because I felt ill. I had it for a week. And sometimes niggas do that. When they get into it, mm -hmm. they let you hold the car for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Why did I have to go to margaritas to get that? And that's what happens when you greedy. I'm hungry. I want to slice. I'm showing off on the app. I, 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 he had the big. 
He said, switch up. I looked crazy in the Plymouth, nigga. I drove, and I'm going to keep it real, I drove with, with the music off and on. Look, <laughs> it was dead it's just funny. Look I, my man had a, my man had a, a, a S500, uh-huh. right? So I'm, I'm in school in Maryland. So a nigga let me hold a car for a couple weeks. I'm down there. After the show, it's the after party. Mm. You, you, yo, you, you, dog, you driving that shit for two weeks, mm-hmm. and then you leave school that third week. And you back on the P12 going across, <laughs> going across town. Yo, that was some bullshit. Like, yo, you just think about stupid shit like that when you get older. That stunting costs you. Nigga, it does. I, I, my, my, our man, the one I told you, well, not your man, but he had, he let me hold the SL600. It had just oh, came shit. out. Drop top. That's different. But, bro, you could, I'm, I'm, I'm doing stupid. I should have been snatched out of that car. Like, I, looking back. I believe you. You what, know me. You know me. all for y'all. I know. Yeah, that, but it worked. Trust me. But it worked. worked. It do work. It worked. It worked. Nigga, I'm doing shit like at the stoplight, hitting the button, making the top go down. That's hilarious. At the next light, put yo, the top back. And you know, yo. the SL shit, the trunk flipped off backwards. It, it was some other shit at that time. Nigga. Brand new, bro. Yo, nigga. We was doing some wild shit just to, just to show off for y'all. Off for y'all. Mm-hmm. I lost pussy doing that drop top shit. And guess what weather I did the drop top shit in, nigga? <laughs> the rain? <laughs> the rain. Oh, it was a mistake. It would be you. It was a mistake. It would be him. It would definitely be I don't be give him. a fuck, I, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> when I got my Mustang, I was like, yo, I wanted to get the convertible one. And I was like, yo, I could see me. If it's a nice little light rain or snow, I'd still drop the shit. It was some yeah. wild shit back in the that, day. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that oh. was on point. Good. It was on brand back then. That does not make any sense. It doesn't. I was trying to like, justify it's, it's, my it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just ignorance, yo. We just don't give and, a fuck. Yo, I was up. Never mind. I was I was looking for the box or the bread. If it was gonna get me some bread or give me some box, I'm willing to do some dumb shit. Outside of that, I'm not putting no top down in no rain. I, I'll pass. <laughs> Did you do any crazy stuff to keep a guy, man? No. Girls don't have to do. Yeah, that they shit. don't have to. We don't that's have not. To do that. That's not true. I, I not the crazy. She shit. didn't have to do yeah. that. Why well, niggas are doing crazy shit to get her? What do you mean? That's okay. them four. Got you. Oh, you might have. Yeah. Because mm. you was up there with a different level of, of man. You might have. She was in Canada. Man. What she do came girls to have to do to, to stunt for men? In Canada? Well, maybe. In <laughs> Look Canada. at Instagram. Well, I mean. What, show some comple- ass? Yeah, completely different time. Back in the days, you just That's had to look pretty. Weight. Yeah, that's yeah, it but, though. But, but we New simple. York. That's all it takes. Yeah. When you came to New York, New York obviously moves faster than Canada. So yeah. did you adjust well, or you just fell for the tricks? Because if you just coming from Canada, the, the light shit can happen. Oh, I, I help you on the train, and he in the door. Not saying with you, but oh. that's true. The easy shit. Get, you catch some out of town chicks that ain't never the been around. The easy shit here. get the out of town. They be a little green. They be a little green. You know what confused me when I first got here? Livery cabs. You know what I'm saying? Like the the unmarked mm-hmm. uh-huh. shits oh, okay. that just would be outside the grocery store. I was they they would be like, "You need a ride." I'm like, "No, stranger, fucking danger." <laughs> like I didn't understand the concept of livery cabs. It took me a second to like kind of understand that. What's shit. a second to you? Like a couple of years? No, like maybe like so a couple sh- weeks. Oh, got you. Got yeah, you. A couple of weeks. I was like, "Oh, somebody had to explain it to me that <laughs> this is." These are you definitely wasn't these, the the the, these are the cabs. These are the cabs in the world. Hell the fuck no, I was never on a dollar man ever in life. You the car, you the car, you the car. Flatbush. That was a. You probably sat in the front of the dollar man. I was never on a motherfucker. You don't know what the dollar, dollar man is. <laughs> you never got the dollar man. We don't have that in New Jersey. Yeah, man. you do. They go dollar. from there to here. They do. Oh, the joint that go to New York City. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the dollar yeah, bill, they, they used to have a string on the door, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Two dollars. You was the guy. You was the guy. That was lit. That dollar van. No, what? I, I ain't never take that, fam. Sorry. <laughs> Good. I'll pass. Real quick, I want to share something, and I, and I thought about. So, Coretta Scott can't work, but no New York can't work. <laughs> what? It was, yo, Joe, but it was, it was who was doing the live read. Exactly. Yeah. I see seven niggas come up here and get it done. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> they, Yo, try, they not why trying you to do that? That's up. He just popped up. Nah, yeah, he you some hate. He said Yo, he would get it back too. Out, see, he said he that nigga. <laughs> Seven niggas, I, and that's and I'm going to ask me. I thought about you this weekend, okay. and I think about you because I saw a girl. She looked good, and she gave me a shot when I was younger, mm-hmm. and she kept it real. She said, "Nigga, you were one of the ones I regret." And I had to stand there. Oh. Yeah. yeah not she really. wanted to get you off her jacket? She wanted to get me off her jacket. Wow. Yes. And she told you? 
Face to face. Like, yo, yo, yo. She said, yo, you know, you're doing your thing now. I'm proud of you. But at what? No, she said that's how she felt at one point. She tried to be cool. She tried to clean it up. My nigga, fuck that. I'm married. I told her, nah, I don't want to talk. But I listen. I listen. I'm dead ass. And, I, and I'm sitting there in Target. And uh, I'm looking at how she looked. I'm like, all right, you still look all right. You know, you got some little bullshits on your feet, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> and she said, yo, you know, at one point, I wanted to get you off my jacket. Your behavior, your mannerisms, how you acted or act was so crazy. So I wanted, I thought about Mel. I'm like, damn, like, I wonder if Mel ever wanted to get somebody off her jacket. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. And would you tell the man? She told me. But she told me on some cool shit. Like, you doing your thing. You up. You, you know what I mean? Like, I, think that's I didn't like that shit. I think that's bullshit. Because one, how people got to know that you even on her jacket. This is what she told me. But probably. they might personally think like, Yeah, she told me that. She was like, like there was a time that I did a lot of shit, Ice. And I even did like a, a song, like apologizing to all the women I heard. I'm, I'm going to send it to y'all. Like, like I'm not going to send it. 13 years ago. I'm gonna Please just send, send it. it. Yes, I want yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I just was naming them, naming them, naming them, naming them. So, what I'm saying? So, so, never mind. Yeah, niggas so know seeing that. her. Right, that's different. And I, I respected her honesty. Right, right. But I was thinking about Mel. Like, I wonder if Mel ever felt that way and would Mel do this? Because I'm thinking like, nigga, like, why are you telling me that? Because I'm flipped? Because of my personality? Would you tell another nigga this? Nah, she might want to re-up. Re that's, that's why I said this She gave bullshit. me that energy, but what I'm saying, now I'm in my feelings. And, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and she looked high. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been shooting. Father, man. son, holy I spirit. I think she was shooting. She might have been shooting. You, you ever try to get a nigga off your body, man? Like, off your jacket? You, how can how you? you? How do you off? unfuck somebody? Easy. It's easy. <laughs> it should never happen. D that is who else knows it, this shit exactly did not happen. that's definitely I got two to that that I'm taking to the grave but is she one yeah. of one by telling me face to face Ice I got, about f I got two <laughs> I'm talking about two that could walk in here right now you over no no I, got no, I don't yeah. I never so yeah. that's, but what if you see them two in person I don't see them then no no, no what I'm saying what I'm saying is if I see them I don't see them oh you ignoring yeah. them I'm gonna act like I don't even see you damn really yeah, I, I, I don't think I got anybody like that it was, <laughs> I don't Man. think I got anybody I mean there's some people that I or would not do it again like, oh, what's up you know they say what's up I'll speak to them whatever but if the conversation even try to nah, 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 but, but based off your what's up they that can tell happen. that you don't want to fuck with them and Absolutely. they'll be extra True. yeah they can tell that so that how do you approach it that's what I was asking how do you approach that because if she see that you're trying to be standoffish, she can tell that you acted funny. So that's when the holding your hand extra long. That's when standing in front of you extra long. You acting funny, you good. A lot of funny shit come with that. Yo, dog, the, the, the story that Joe talked about when we was in the spot. Uh -huh. And the girl was just being hella extra. Talk about it. Dog, I wanted to kick her ass to the other side of the room. Like, yo, leave me alone. She's fine, like, yo, dog. But no, I, I mean, it's a lot of feathers I want to get out of my goose, but <laughs> I still speak to them. I'm still cordial. I'm still nice. I ain't no asshole to them. No, you can't be an asshole. But they With every not. single one? No, 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 not everyone, but there are some Do you girls. remember everybody you fucked? Why do you always? Sheesh. That's saying that. Yo, to, I'm let saying me ask that to you the, wait, 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 You need wait, to start wait, watching wait, the pod. Wait, wait, Hold up, hold wait. up. You need to start watching the pod because the facial expressions that you make to me on the pod are hideous. Oh damn. damn! That's yeah. just my feeling. No, that's not we just got my we got action. No, hold nigga. on one second. Do what? I ever? No, I don't. I'm, I'm meant to ask that to the room. Okay. With with permission, of course, if I can. You have permission. You okay. Have permission. Now, okay. What is the consent, again? consent, consent, consent. Okay, the but question? um, the question is, do you got? Do you guys remember every single person you fucked? Uh, like no, no, no. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but sometimes I'll see someone be like, oh yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Nah, Thanks. it's some. Some nights it was alcohol and other shit involved, and I don't it's know. embarrassing. There's probably we gotta, some. We, no, we, gotta stop, no, we gotta stop doing that. Nobody really forgets who they fuck. Like that's we gotta fam, stop. That's not true. That is. That's I don't drink, true. but I don't drink. I don't get. I don't, I don't do drink drugs either. And you that's forgot a body. True. Yes, I I've forgot. had girls that having just conversations. Shit, with that means just shit in the, in, the, in the fucking river, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this, shit, <laughs> this shit in the Atlantic. Ooh, dog. I've had girls come up to me and you be having a conversation with them, like you recognize them, and you're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. and then they'll be like, you don't even know who I am, do you? I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. They'd be like, what's my name? You hear that now? And now you'd be like, oh. Uh, so why you come back with that? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that, that's happened, bro. Yeah. You forgot bodies too? Yes. Yes. Y'all niggas was ill in that little mansion y'all was in. Whatever that shit called. The, <laughs> <laughs> the joke came. Don't put them with me. I remember everybody. Oh. Don't put them with me. Except for a long nose girl. Now there's definitely some uh, some some one day stands yeah. from the bar and shit. You gotta stop. I would, yeah. I would be like, I'm gonna start frying you up. 
I, I hired you to fry me. All right, you lying. <laughs> you lying. You remember? Ish, there's you been want, these. Ish, you want me to? Be I don't want down you to be nothing. You. I don't want you to. You want? You want what? me to be down with you, bad? And I'm not. Look you can you. point at ice all you want. I'm just pointing at ice's face. I feel better now. What's up? All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, cool. Your, your Advil, <laughs> your Advil kicker. Ish, I'm not down with you. I know. Likewise. But, 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 no, but, like, but that's, not true. that's not fair, Joe. We you, agree. You always say you are down with him. No, 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 no. No, he all, no, 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 no. y'all niggas better start talking. He always say, you no, say he I'm always down. do he's, the other shit and try to put Ish down with him. No, but he said that I'm down with you. Me Yo, and you know what's going on. So dog, Ish and I have run the streets through different segments over the last 20 years. True. Yes. And then we have not. True. So when I speak about our stories, we, out, we outside, ah, uh, but... When it comes down to the game score on the scoreboard, we are not in the same class at all, him and I. But when it comes to some of the plays. Wait, wait, hold up. Tell you. <laughs> when it comes to some oh, of the layups. The, the plays. Oh, okay, the nigga, maybe. you did some of the same drills, Paul. However, pause. you Oak Hill, nigga. <laughs> and you had a triple double Stop on it. Oak Hill. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, go ahead. And we can't really have this talk because none of y'all here are honest about your numbers. That's so not true. We can go ahead and talk about Meek Mill. No, nah, we can talk about. We could we, we can do talk. It. We could talk. Let's talk, fam. You said that. What's you, up? All right, my go. You said that you don't forget anybody. Not a one. We've had several. And I and I have forgotten, uh, uh, but I remembered them. <laughs> after I, after I, I forcefully I, put her remember, in your brain. But I remember. But I remember. I remember. After some coercion. I wonder how some of them doing sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> how kind of you. <laughs> Wow, aren't you such a nice guy? He's an empath. Remember remember Michelle? Who was around for Michelle? I think you fucked Michelle, too. I did not. She gave me some head. I ain't hit it. Oh, (laughs) shit. (laughs) That was your joint? See what I mean? (laughs) You was in love with Michelle. That was your thing. Why would you get head? No, no, hold on. I wasn't hanging with Joe back. I wasn't hanging with Joe back. You trying to get it back? I was angry. You trying to get it back? Was it the 20? I didn't even know. Eight years of doing it. Stop. I wasn't hanging with you back then. Stop. She's fucking the same girl as me. I agree with him though. Ish. You I met it. the girl on Black Planet. So I didn't know Joe Button existed. I met her on this planet. I know. You met her <laughs> Cinderella Planet. Well, Michelle used to come up Death Jam. Mm. Oh, I thought mm. you. I used to tell Tyshawn Gail, "Hey, let me get this office for a minute, big dog." <laughs> I love them. The one that come to your job. Hey, yo, trench coat. Uh, find a bathroom uh, somewhere. Easy yeah, access there. outfit. Oh, my Lord. We sound like old cavemen right now. <laughs> How many, the joke, and this is no disrespect. How many women you think you and Joe got in common? <laughs> oh, that mutuals? That is a very good question. Mutuals on Instagram. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mutuals. That's, That's when you got to hit that button. Hit that little mutuals tab. Mutual followers. How many real life mutuals y'all got? No, you got to go there and see your Eskimo brothers. Let me, let me see who else up over yeah. this piece. Be real, Ish. <sighs> Damn. That I know about, maybe like 15. Oh, what? shit. <laughs> nah, that's a pattern. God, that that nigga's the treacherous twins, That nigga's a pattern. <laughs> that's a pattern. Y'all sick fucks. He is crazy. Why? Why you think I that? thought I had some bad Eskimo brothers. Yeah. Y'all is wild. <laughs> oh, he, look, look at him. <laughs> look. And then he said knowingly. But I love it. Oh, 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 I love no. it. Yeah. Y'all hate when y'all get in y'all podcast. Dang. <laughs> Yo, y'all really having a co- Ice, how many Eskimos, how many we got in common? Uh, quite a few. Give me a number, please. It, it ain't nowhere near 15. Five? Why I can't just go get yeah, new women? About eight. He said eight. Maybe. Maybe. So stop, stay right there. Joe and I was off the porch early. So before I ever knew Joe, we, me and Joe was running in the same circle, same ohm, fucking... Got it. Cheetah. Every club in New York, you name it, we was in there. So you got two handsome dudes that's around the same age running around, nigga. You bumping into the same girls. Mel, what are we talking about? Mel, what you think? <laughs> what you think about what you're saying? Honestly, from a, woman, from, a woman's perspective, from a woman's perspective. I can't even talk. <laughs> what am I saying wrong? We I, have to talk. I, I, to I, talk. Thought, I thought the number would have been higher. And I think, it, I think that's just crazy. I think it's oh, crazy. Is I think wild. She, why y'all don't get this? It's hey, amazing. You not listen. These are girls that I never knew that Joe even knew. They're girls. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. In okay. our, in our hey, routes. Mel, Mel, question for you. Yeah. All right, you, you number one. So the number two video vixen got him. 
Got How him. many oh. bodies do you think y'all may share? Oh, shit. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Oh, shit. Got him. Holy shit. Answer the question straight. Don't think. Or meander. Whatever that shit Holy is. <laughs> Who do you think is number two? I, that, oh, no, 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 no. Who do you no, think no, is no, number no, two? We're not doing that. Stop with the reverse. We're not doing that. Mm. Whoever number yeah, two is. Yeah, that's why I didn't put a name on it. What California actress that is in your age range do you think? Don't limit to just California. No, no, no. no, 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 no I'm just, I'm not, I know he's trying to, he, he, yeah. he's equating it to the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Whoever she is. Whoever, whoever you want to put his number two. You got to leave that shit open with Mel. She, there's she, she, one person that I can think of that there's been some overlappage with unintentionally. Neither one of us knew until that's fine. It's way still, after the fact. Y'all are still, y'all are still no. Eskimo sisters. No, you know what? Allegedly, mm -hmm. and it wasn't me that knew. We know, not you. You called dibs. Uh, you call yeah. <laughs> yeah. You tell your homegirl, bitch, stay right here. You better not do anything. I got this one. Look at him. I got this. We got this. Um, the person I'm thinking about, two. Got you. Mm -hmm. Two that I know knowingly. of. Knowingly. Yeah. No, no, not knowingly. I mean, that, well, that I don't you know, know of. No, I did not yet. Two that you know yeah. of. There might be I got a better six. question. Since y'all became friends, how many women do you have in common? That's different. 15. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's 15, that's foul to me. Because now you got to look deeper. Somebody's going after somebody. I don't. They flipped them together. Well, true. I'm not talking that about that. Count that count too. Okay, you count that. That okay. counts. That definitely counts. You count flipping together as, because sometimes if you have a friend and you like the same woman, they'll go after you. Yeah. They'll backdoor mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm just to show you, and not, you guys got to understand it, but niggas, sure, I can fuck your bitch too. I can. We have an understanding. Too. I understand that Ish be horny. <laughs> <laughs> ish is a That's horny. That's not true, though. Is a horny. Ish is is my dog, ish. my sexual appetite is less than all y'all niggas. Right, y'all call me right. vanilla man. Yo, we this, can move hold on. on. This is a thing. In my ice, life, so they just ice, 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 ice they just been using you. No, I like, look, I like women. I like women. We all oh, do. Bird is here. Bird is here. Bird right is here. <laughs> it's too you many niggas for you to say now. that. Ish. Come on. Pop. What Meek Mill said. <laughs> y'all niggas be fronting, yo. No, you fronting. Like, How? I'm the only nigga in here giving it up. No, you're not. <laughs> you said your sexual appetite is lower than ours. <laughs> I love this. Yo, thing. dog. For there are girls that I've never had sex with that we kick like kicked it. I like women like that, talking to them, kicking it with. It's mad girls that I have. You know this, and you. Do, I'm gonna give this to you too. There are mad girls that you could pop that is fire that you've never popped because you just kick it. Mm -hmm. That don't. That what that, that don't have nothing yeah, to do with that. Yeah. That, so so what I'm saying. It's a lot of girls every, that you popped. But every girl that I kick it with or have kicked it with, nobody's the, talking about yeah. that part though. Mm. So, yeah. so no, but a lot of times you're melting right now. No, no, Listen. no, no. Honestly, he's not. He's speaking from. Like the light skin hazel eye privilege, which is I used to say. I could have fucked way more. Yeah, I used to say this when I was toxic. <laughs> Yo, I could have fucked a thousand chicks this week, but I didn't. I yeah, fucked. that's that's true. what he doing. So, but but in that, he's doing saying, mad. Yo, dog. Yeah. So me talking to a girl don't no, ne necessarily be sexually motivated. Is what I'm saying. Your body number is what. Uh, Not the one you gave last time. The one I ain't never give one. The one that we know about. I ain't never give nobody. <laughs> the, one that, right, but you ain't, the one we talking about, you ain't even gotta say it. It's but. a lot. Do you think you're toxic ish when it comes to that? No. Toxic as far as what? I think I you mean, could be a whore and not be toxic. We ain't even talking about when he went and <laughs> got with Candace Vaughn and no. I never did that. <laughs> never. That's your Yo, don't start. No, you ain't gonna start playing the name game. Don't, don't, bring, don't bring the don't bring the towels. Don't bring yeah. the towels out neither. Ask her. I've never touched. Don't bring the towels out neither. Towels. 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 I don't know what that means. I don't give yeah, but fam, I I haven't the video with the, she I haven't the pool. delved into that um <laughs> that 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 genre. It's Austin. fine. It's fine. We can move on. Yeah, okay, but, move on. You know, but you know when you want to move on. I, listen, I can stay here all day. Let's go. Yeah, oh, gonna, we can stay here because you're not gonna tell the truth. Ooh. We can stay. You're not gonna tell the truth. Yo, nah, Flip is the best. Fuck you, nigga. You're not gonna yeah. tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell the truth. Fight back, Joey. I'm Flip. I promise to tell the truth. What's your number? Fight back. Oh, we did this before. I know. I'm doing it again. Oh, you think my number's a lie? Yo, <laughs> how about this one? I'm gonna get a T-shirt. How about this one? This is me, yo. Is <laughs> <laughs> you full of shit, yo? I'll say this about me, and this is just to grant you a courtesy. 
Oh, I'm going to add 100 to mine. <laughs> I'm going to add 100 to whatever number I think. And I'm still less, I'm still got you by 600. I can add 100 to me. You exaggerate. And I got you by, you got me by like 600. Yeah. With me adding the hundred, you exaggerate. No, I ain't. I'm underdoing it because you, my man, you think, and you all think, our girls think, listen to this. You shit. think you think you higher than him? Yes. Ain't no thing. I think about uh, it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm getting it. Do you yeah. think? Do you think that number is? What do you think the difference is between the numbers? I don't know because he be advanced so calculus. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> yeah, get the big calculator. <laughs> but no, no, no. Put my number. Put my number two fifty. I think that's a lot. Put my number three hundred. That might be a lot too. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, put my number 300. I'm asking you whatever now you what? think his number is. <laughs> now what? In your head, whatever you think the number is, and you know your number. I don't do you know think, a number, but this well, nigga's, think, I got a gauge. This nigga where do you think the difference is between the two numbers? <laughs> What's the difference? Yes. A uh, oh, no, couple hundred. No. <laughs> How far are you from a four-digit number? And that's me being kind. <laughs> Why are you making those Look faces? Look at him now. Look at him now. All right, we can move on, yo. Listen, what Nick Mill did. Let's go. That's my son. I love you, nigga. You're lying so yeah. much. This nigga's a liar. That's my man. Four digit That's king. My man. That's Millionaire my man. Millionaire 28. Huh? Mill put this nigga green eye nigga with the What she thought was happening, yo? That nigga was a monster. Mel be having everybody number fucked up. I, I, I did. I apparently did. Like, yeah, my right. And that's hate. And that's hate what you're doing. No, not at all. I just, I'm learning, I'm learning a lot. You're lucky we ain't see you back in the day. <laughs> you didn't see me. We didn't. No, you didn't. Balcony. Eh, eh. Don't spread rumors. Meek oh. Mill. Oh, y'all did that. All right, what? Uh, <laughs> Chris Brown and Quavo. Oh, y'all did that. We did that too. All right, we did. Y'all did all the shit I wanted to chime in on. Chime, chime in. I'm, chime in. All right, so uh, I'll try to do this real quick. Meek. I agree with all that shit you said about trying to get the business straight. That has nothing to do with tweeting. You're looking at metrics. You're trying to get your contracts figured out. You're looking for the loophole. You're supposed to call your lawyers, call your team, get that together. Oh, yeah, that's Twitter. And if you really, yeah. You crowdsourcing. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing with him. Anytime he asks Twitter, it is a great thought that he has. Mm -hmm. He's asking the wrong people. He's just he on Twitter. He the thought wrong. And he ain't the person that's supposed to communicate what he's trying to communicate. He's supposed to have somebody next to him that on his squad that... <laughs> Hey, we need to find out what's going on in Africa with my shit. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at international rights on my contracts. He need to do that. Mm -hmm. Twitter, yeah, yes and no. I, I see because like there's been it. there's been times where we've been in a city that we've never been in before. And we'll go on Twitter and say, yo, where's the good food at something that like that? A far no, 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 Can I finish? Stop it, Can I finish? It's along the same no. lines. No, 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 it is. No, yes, it is. It is. Because if he don't know at all... Somebody starts saying, yo, this about, you see enough people say this, you say, okay, let me look into that. You just get, now I can pass this on to some other people. He just literally, I'm Ice, pretty sure he has a team, What you're no? describing is an investigation. A Google and, and a you Google don't do query. that. And you don't do that. Yeah, but publicly. when you do the Google query, at least I'm getting from, from people here, Google query is just whatever results come up. As in, what, what was promoted the highest? What was this? I'm asking people. So Yo, he you, might think I'm bypassing all of that and I'm going direct to the people to ask a question. Dog, you next to Jay-Z who has done all of the streaming service research that you need to be done. He owed title. In the, in the world. <laughs> like, like, you have people that you could talk to about this. That's not Twitter. Meek might also be like on some... Yo, I feel like I, I may have gotten fucked before and then I'm trying to do all of this on my own. I don't trust nobody no more. Then you should have Because I had Twitter. niggas in my corner. I had niggas who I thought was in my corner and I'm finding out, oh shit, this wasn't this. If oh you don't shit, trust this nobody, wasn't. All Twitter of this is, is why like you shouldn't ask Twitter. Place. All of this it's is why a, you shouldn't ask Twitter. It's just a start. Yeah, you can get I look at it, you could just get a little bit of a start shit. and now I have somewhere to at least start looking. <clears throat> but it comes off wrong sometimes. I don't think he care how it come off. I think he knows mm -hmm. he how he, his tweet. How he are because he went back to clean it yeah. up. Like this is what I was meaning to say. Mm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. in the cleanup, it still came off wrong. Nigga said, "What the nigga said about some elephant tusk?" Yeah, they was they <laughs> fried his ass <laughs> up in there. But that's my thoughts on Meek. I hope he finds out whatever he needs to find out. But boy, that was funny when they fried him up. Chris Brown. Oh, all the growth in the world. Pause. Couldn't commend you anymore. Great. Sit next to a nigga that you done scrapped with over your ex that you love. Look bigger than him in all of the pictures. That's important. Look, <laughs> he looked like if the scrap wanted to break out, 
I could have folded you right here, but I didn't. But I didn't. And it's still up, nigga. Don't think. That's the part I like. We not mm. friends. We not fly. I still love Shorty, nigga. I remember what you did. I ain't fucking my bag up for these little niggas. Like, even in that, just saying, I don't fuck with them. Yeah, I like that. I'm letting, I'm letting it be known. I do like that. Now, it's a bigger conversation to be had about all you entertainers running out there grabbing the bag from the fashion industry that has historically shunned you. Mm. 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 But... No. Not here for that no, today. No, no, no. They opened the door now. Not here, not here for that today. Did they? They might have. They might have seen the air in their way. So push your tea, go ahead and walk across the stage with you. Oh, so tell me about sure so did. tell me about the black the black fashion houses. Tell me about the the black uh the black uh designers. Tell me about the black everything. Tell well, me about since they opened the door. And Pharrell in them, no? What you want me to tell you? Those are black designers that kind of took over fashion houses. What fashion house? You just came in here two weeks ago and talked about the Pharrell Louis collab and how dope it is. Oh, yes. that's, that's the same thing that black people have, have always succumbed to, which is loan our fly, license our our cool. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, but that's it's different that, that's when you're doing the Virgil. It's different when you're doing the des, you're doing the design now. Now you got creative control. That's a little different than and, just and now you are loaning your likeness to it. Uh, no, that's how you look at it. Four season, you designed some shit for a season. I okay. think that's fly. I do think it's fly, but that ain't. Uh, a changing of the guard or changing the it, model. It, it, it starts. So foot in the door. But you got to remember. It starts. Yeah. It starts that we because you could take Virgil, you could take Kanye. You got remember what they did to Dapper Dan though too. True. Like they, they they kept him. Yeah, yeah this is the same thing. Yeah. This is the it's same not, exact thing. It's not the same because Dapper not? Dan in the eighties wasn't getting a dime from the fashion houses, but he was promoting the fashion houses. So you would go uptown mm -hmm. get some Dapper Dan Gucci shit. Gucci's getting a, a claim for it, but Dapper Dan's not getting the money from Gucci directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now when you get Pharrell, that's joining forces with one. Of the biggest fashion houses, if not the biggest fashion house in the world. One, he's getting compensated by them directly. Okay. And two, now if Pharrell wants to do that one or two times and potentially go off and start his own shit, he got insider information on how to do that and navigate that space. You said the mm -hmm. 80s with Dapper Dan. Gucci eventually came 90s. back and did the same thing. They came back and hired him as a consultant. I don't think it's the same. No, designer too. Gotcha. Okay. He was designing. Gotcha. He, he mm -hmm. had a whole gotcha. He had a whole line. So I mean, still licensing to fly. Hey, mm -hmm. get it how you live it. Like a capsule collection. What do you? But yeah. why, why, I, I won't be. Are you, are niggas you, invited me out there. So nigga, no. Are you against? Why are you against that? And, though? and again, but, then I might be victim to my. You know, I might. But be why are you against it? it? Why are you against? You wear the. You wear. You wear their garments. You purchase it. You like. Obviously, like it. If they invited you out there to be a part of, they like the way you present their items. Why wouldn't you be a part of it? Why wouldn't you become a part of it? Because all we have is our likeness. That's true. And you have to be careful about where you loan it. You don't think you loan your likeness to them when you exactly. post pictures when you wearing stuff on? all the time? No, I think that's totally different. I think black people have the choice to uh, fuck with any brand, mm -hmm. wear any brand, post mm -hmm. pictures of any brand. That is your choice, True. right? Like sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll throw on a Balenciaga hoodie. We know what them niggas was doing. Mm -hmm. Like that's my choice. That's gotcha. very different from me going to the Balenciaga House. runway mm -hmm. show okay. and... Or going to the Tom Brown runway show and sitting there and, and my audience and then they make all the money and then you just sitting there for a picture hop. I'm no, I'm flying. So I'm so cool so that. stay here. That's me though. Hey Salehi. I'm not I'm not saying that other people should But Salehi came act on the show. Salehi, friend of the show. Shout out to Salehi. Came on the show Shout and he Salehi. talked about how through the different fashion houses, he picked up lessons from each one of those fashion houses that allowed him to be where he is today, which he's kicking ass. And I would like some of those Crocs that tie up. You know what I mean? Just Same, Slay. <laughs> Just FYI, homeboy. You, you send me the little pink New Balances. Thanks. <laughs> send me them shits that you wearing on your feet. Yeah, I follow you on Instagram. I see and them. I, I want and, them. And I put Thank the you. little fire emojis up under there about four times on four different posts, nigga. That's wow. Baby, I'm begging, baby. You know? I'm begging, begging, <laughs> baby. Baby, but no, I'm begging. All seriousness, again, I think that even Kanye West, the lessons that he picked up mm. at these particular fashion houses, you mm -hmm. might have came in and flipped. Flip is already doing his own thing. But I'm sure some of the knowledge that you got at the Joe Button podcast has been monumental. Yes. For me, so, for me, for yes, me what you're saying is is moving the goal coast, the goal post in my point. Uh Pharrell, um, not Pharrell, uh, who Virgil, Salehi, Salehi, Salehi and Kanye. Kanye fashion, fashion moguls who clearly want to be in that field. So you gotta battle whatever you gotta battle. But Salehi in didn't. That, in that. 
Remember Soleil? He said he did. He went to school for something totally different. He wasn't in the fashion field when they came. Yeah, when he but got then Donna Karen called him, and then somebody called That's him. Right. He, no. he went. He went crazy. Versace called him, and then and then he clearly had a passion for it. So you got to go through whatever barriers are there. I salute him for doing that. All he of did it, of course. Kanye, but I'm talking about entertainers, the okay. people that don't really have a passion for. That but we do a lot have of these niggas do have a passion fashion. for fashion. Mm -hmm. They do niggas from the hood are dictating what the fashionable trends are. So if you could do that and learn some shit, you might be able to go do your own Sean John or go do your own Rockaway or go do your own brand. You know what I'm saying? Once you get the opportunity to sit with the greats or the people that everybody don't get an opportunity to sit with, I think that it's a good thing. My opinion. I'm I think not mad that's at a dope thing. I'm not mad at that. You know what I'm saying? And you get in the bag in the process. While you learn the bag, that's another one of these hip hop myths. All right, you don't think they pay for another Pharrell? one of these hip hop myths? They pay for real. Oh, okay, but you did not pay paying the niggas that's walking on the runway. You think they ain't paying everybody? <laughs> this bag yeah. talk, I want it to come to an end, yo. Why? Why? Oh, I don't want to see this out. Nah, it's relative. I just think yeah. it's relative. Uh -huh. It don't say enough. Depending on whose bag. If they gave, if 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 Tom Brown gave Joe Button a bag to come sit front row at the Tom Brown show, which they know is going to get some camera looks, is going to get some notoriety. You are basically doing an ad for Tom Brown. Mm -hmm. You get a bag, right? Let's say hypothetically they give you a bag because some of these people are doing it for free. But let's mm -hmm. say they gave you a bag. The bag, whatever they y'all agreed upon, would be a sufficient bag for you. Okay. And you might get up there and walk to pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speaking of bags, <laughs> speaking of bags, it is time for prize pitch. Do we have a winner this week? Anybody win this week? I won Not every much. day since Thursday. CJ Stroud, man, messed up my ticket. No. I had a bunch of people mess up my tickets. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on a streak. I thought these games were going to be shootouts. They were not. I was two for three. Not too bad this week. Not too bad with my genius picks. Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. Super easy to play. Really simple. Really exciting. You should be able to get this done in 60 seconds or less. All you have to do is select two or more players, look at their projected stat lines, and pick more or less. Also, from the specials tab, you can select players from different leagues with NBA and NFL season in play for a chance to win 25 times your money and, if you do demon time picks, up to 99 times your money. Now, uh, not so many games left. No, nah, it's getting mm -hmm. low for that. We're, anyway. we're getting down to the wire here. Okay, Joe Button Genius picks for the week. I have Patrick Mahomes less than 25.5 rushing yards. I am going. No, nah, I'm going Lamar Jackson for more than 212.5 pass yards. I don't think he can beat Kansas City without doing more than that. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, here's a demon time. Patrick Mahomes, 199.5 passing yards. Never. Mm -mm. You don't like that? I like that. 299. No, 199.5. No, green, green, green demon. 199.5. Goblin. 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 I'm going more. Of course. Oh, that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my ticket. That is my ticket. I feel good. I feel good about that like Stephanie Mills. Please don't forget to use promo code JBP. And with that said, good luck to everyone out there. I'm on you on Patreon. -ish. You made me mad mm. now. <laughs> just because you, you lie on podcasts. I don't lie. Yeah, can we move on? If my number's 350, <laughs> and that's with me doubling shit in my brain, just for podcast sakes, I have you clearing that by at least 400 minimum. You, you could be way off. All right, come on, we'll move on. What, what we got? What we got? What's going on? This guy's crazy. <laughs> I'll grant you the courtesy because uh -huh. your queen listens to the pod. Dog, the conversations, most of them that I have on the pod, I can have with my girl. Oh, shit. you. No, I'm, I'm telling you. Says you. She'll I'm, hear I'm it. I'm never there to hear, and you're never going to bring her here. She'll, she, she'll, she'll never, hear it. You're never going to bring her around me. I don't know. I can't confirm. Oh, <laughs> nigga, let the nuts hang. 
I don't, I don't lie much, bro. You let your nuts hang for real. All right, get your shit off. I, what you mean? If you come in here on Friday acting different, we know we had a conversation. You know With a black eye? Yeah. <laughs> come in here quiet. We know. We know. It's a fool. Uh, what else is happening? What the else rock? is happening? The Rock. The Rock. Is that, is that the funnest shit happening? I mean, I mean, Man, Dave Chappelle's happening. Mm. Okay. Dave Chappelle. Dave come on, Dave Chappelle. The Rock got more numbers than Dave Chappelle. Exactly. The Rock, you know. <laughs> <It's like he's> <laughs> <laughs> by far, too. It's a married man. You don't, yeah. yeah. Both of them. They wasn't always married. Good point. True. Absolutely. All right, so come on. Tell us what Dave Chappelle did. Uh, Dave Chappelle was at a comedy show somewhere. Mm-hmm. And, of course, they end up talking about Cat Williams. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he said what he had to say about the matter. And then D. Ray Davis came on stage. and Same, they di- went back same and, day. Yeah, they went back and forth about it. Uh, here's a clip that Mel put in the chat. Part of the game is this. He only eats the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. And so why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? Stop. And Cat and, and Cat and hurt people hurt people. But I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. Fuck this one, fuck this one, and fuck this one. But they got anything that you did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can't didn't do nothing wrong. And wreck. TV. I'm a friend of M. Rex, shut up, nigga. <laughs> you get the point. He can't Coming on again, watch. He's talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas. But not about anything. The things he did to him, if I told my story, it would break your heart. Your heart. If I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. And this nigga is the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen, I fuck with Cat hard. And wreck. Sporting. Wait, but, 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 but. I love but. this. Wait, 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 D-Ray, just tell me what part of the game fucks up another nigga's paper. I'm Rex. I'm tired of you. <laughs> I'm tired of you now. All right, you heard, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Dave says that Cat Williams is an amazing painter, so why do you paint these horrible pictures of us and us only? You never said anything about any of the shit that these white boys out here doing. Uh, use your powers for good. What else was he saying? Just saying you don't have to live like that, basically. I don't yeah. like. I don't like that. Oh, you never said nothing about these white boys. Mm-hmm. He's not a white boy. I'm speaking on our culture, shit that happened here, and we should be responsible for you know making the decisions. Yeah, that we like, make. I don't, he don't have to speak on white people. That's true. I thought it was funny when he said, I love this trying to bring down the Illuminati, but started with Cedric the Entertainer. I said this kind of when he was there. Like, I don't like when we shoot each other in public. And it seems, seems, because we not necessarily in their, in their culture, it seems to be us, whether it's rap, whether it's comedians, whether it's businessmen, whatever the case may be, it's just always us bringing us down or shooting at us publicly. And I think that's whack. Now, to his defense... Whose defense? Cats. Cats. They okay. went on Shay Shay show first and said disparaging shit about him. So he came up there to clear the room and clear the air. But Dave Chappelle's right. Some of the people that he brought out or that he talked about didn't necessarily shoot ha- at him on Club Shay Shay. So if he came up there to shoot back at them niggas, mm. then that's cool. But when you start bringing other people's business that wasn't even there into the mix, I think it's ugly and I think it does us a disservice. Mm. Because when you start dissing, let's, let's say he dissed uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh-huh. Now he, Cedric the Entertainer. No, he, he, he did. Yeah, we I'm saying, say. But see, he's saying like, yo, you ain't write your jokes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That could potentially take away from Cedric's money. Mm-hmm. Or if you said, mm-hmm. uh, this person didn't do this or this person didn't do that. If they came up there and shot at him first, which I think said did, then it's par for the course. Nigga, like, war is war. Mm-hmm. But somebody that didn't mention him, earthquake, shit like that, don't, don't bring them na- those names into the equation. I think that's ugly. That's my person. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my opinion. I'm not mad at the take. Yeah, I think that's what. I mean, this is it's not a right or wrong in this for me. I'm just interested in Dave Hayden. Dave Hayden? <laughs> this a little is bit. Hate. this is hate. A little bit. Y'all serious? This is this is hate. Mm-hmm. This is Dave Hayden. Support hate. It's support hate. 
bigging somebody else up while, while criticizing it's, what they've done. It's criticism a, ain't here, hate, here, yo. Here, here. But the way he did it is hate. hate How? Well, how else was he wow. supposed to do it? I'm shocked that y'all feel that way. Well, I can tell you why I feel that way. Gotcha. I can, yeah. Dave Chappelle, we, don't, we normally don't hear his opinion on anything until it's time for a special. Okay. And this was like a bootleg thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not for nothing. What did he just like Dave, get up at like Dave comedy know, show Dave or something? Knows yeah, the power all comedians of do his, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Dave know the power of his voice. And True. if you're on stage at whatever comedy show and the phones are have not been taken away, then you know somebody's yeah. taping and you know what's going out. He know. There's some people that know the power of their voice. Gotcha. And Dave is one of them. So if you are choosing to speak on cat, that means that you know what's going on and you kind of want it to go out. True. Mm-hmm. And that's not part of course for Dave for me. Mad shit goes on in the comedy world where, you know, Dave is a giant, so we just don't hear from him and we got to wait. But maybe he but wanted it to go out. I feel like Dave- I'm sure, and I'm sure that that's attached to Cat stepping on his comedy special on Netflix. The timing of it. Mm. The timing. Yeah. The timing of you having something negative to say, pseudo negative, because it's not all the way negative about an interview that eclipsed 50 million views and stepped on your shit. I just don't like the timing of it. And, but, and to what you said. It does seem like support hate. Netflix jumped right up and, and kind of played into that too because you know they list the comedy section, whatever. Like the first three or four Cat Williams now. Yeah, of course. It's algorithm time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so that's my thing with Dave. I'm so glad to hear that from him though. Like I don't want to say, I want to hear more of that yeah. from him. But in this instance, but at, eh. but at the same time, during Kat's interview, yeah. he talks about Dave and he talks about that whole, you know, walked away from $50 million, 50 million dollar deal mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So Dave puts that into like, you know, sections that into what he's saying. And he was just like the difference between what he did and what happened with me was I lost everything and I never said anything about anybody. I didn't tell any secrets. I didn't do anything. So he kind of used that as like um. Um, way to support what he's saying that he didn't have to come after. I think it's, I think it's apples and oranges. I don't, I don't really even like that comparison. I do like the fact that he's basically saying, yo, in our culture, in the street shit, we don't snitch. True. And we don't try to stop another nigga from getting no bread. We don't do that. So Cat Williams did that. I think the people that wronged Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle can't just openly get on TV and start shooting at But people. I think that but that was what he was, th- but, I'm saying, I agree with you that that's what he was alluding to. Mm-hmm. Like I had the opportunity and I never took it. But that would be a contradiction ish because you stated that those guys went up there and shot at Cat first. Not all of them. So you saying The that, ones that did, then it's So his it's response war. would be warranted and like just because you step on my shoe, you know, you know the old saying, mm-hmm. doesn't mean I, you know. His response is warranted. As far as Dave, I I can see what Joe was saying. You're looking at it more as as he's giving pointers of how to conduct yourself as a comedian. But no, nigga. And I ain't going to lie, I'm with firing at black people too. Like, well, I'm not with you, all you're going to always be right when you say, as black people, we need to not stop tearing each other down. That's going to always be true. But feelings are fickle. And sometimes you want to fire at somebody that's black. You're not... uh, Shooting them, you're not harm stabbing them. Yeah. But yeah, I'm with, with firing at some niggas. You still could be harming them, though. Man, fuck it then. <laughs> Man, you could harm, be harming their money. No, if, if, if if they shot, chime but in with but if they shot at them first, then yeah, but again, you they, they what about the what is there some people that didn't shoot at him? Yeah, yeah, and yeah but what about the rumors they spread on the nigga as far as like he's difficult to work with and these are from top comedians, right? So that some of the niggas his, he fi- he shot at, yeah, that so could have affected his bag. Yeah, shoot. okay, I got you. Shoot at them, Dave. Your inspiration of mine, but this is support hate, and I got to call it out. This is support hate. Mm. When you come up with these lines like support hate, <laughs> them shit's gone. Yeah, them shit's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You started that shit with did. the help of us. Salute, thank us. But <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> us. started this it. year. We want to categorize the, the support hate. hate. Support hate, incentivized hate. Mm. Like it can't just be. Baseless hate. Mm. Not constructive criticism. Yeah, it has to be hate with intention. Hate with an agenda. That's why you hate? You, yeah, why what you, happened? Yeah, what what yeah. he did to you? What's the, what's the rule? I like everybody hate? getting their little hate off. And I don't like when positive niggas want to call your phone while you're trying to get some hate off on some niggas. <laughs> yeah, because they, yeah, ugh. Yeah. Because you can't tell. Sometimes the positive niggas, you can't really tell. I ain't, I ain't over Kevin Hart doing that shit when I fired them niggas, my, chiming in. Mind your fucking business, nigga. <laughs> How about that? You called your phone? 
Yeah, on the internet, they call on my phone. Hey, man, you could have went about that different. Yeah, I could have, nigga, but guess what? <laughs> don't, I didn't. Don't do that. I'm yeah, dead ass. That's not true. Mind bro. your fucking business, no, man. No, nigga. Get the that, fuck that, out of here. You, are, you are his the business. Fuck out of here. You are his business. I don't know who you're talking yes, to. Yes, you are. No, I ain't. You are. No, I ain't. I disagree. How do you figure? Because we are a community and we're a village. And if somebody sees somebody that's under me that I like and I fuck with and I see you going the wrong path I don't roll like that I ain't heard finish. from Kevin Hart since mind your fucking business <laughs> there you go there you mind go. your fucking them, business you, ain't, you don't pop up no other time you don't pop up when shit is going good and that's my man I ain't got no beef with him but nigga when I'm handling turbulence mind your fucking business nigga Niggas be wanting to be positive I, I, I at the wrong time, Ish. You know that. Ish. Yeah, I disagree with that. Niggas want to be positive at the wrong time. Y'all too positive. What's the wrong time? Y'all too mature. The wrong time is certain when certain shit is eating you on the inside, mm -hmm. nigga, and, and niggas wronged you, and you feel like you want to express yourself. We don't want to hear that positive That's shit. That's the right time. That's the wrong that time. That is the right time. That's the right Let time. Let me get all my nah, shit out, nigga. Give me a couple of months. Give me yeah, a month. Yeah, but I might, I might have been Flip. in your shoes before. Give me a before. month. Ish. I might have been in your shoes before. See where you going, and see you about to fuck up what you trying to build. So I'm going to step in and say, yo, hey, dog, check this out. They try to correct I'm you. I'm going to try to help you yes. out so that you don't make the mistake What does that I do made? for my feelings now? Fuck your feelings. I, 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 I want you to so fuck my feelings, so I, I, have, to I have to suppress it. Yes. Because no. this positive, stupid nigga. No, no, no because that's gross. You can get your feelings out in a way that don't hurt your business. Flip. You know how many niggas locked up over their feelings? That mm. if a nigga would have stepped in 40 seconds before they did some, stop, before they did some dumb ass shit to make them not be in their feelings, they would be home with their family right now. Can I not move? You always tell somebody to stop. I just moved. Oh, no, because you was about to talk. I wasn't going to say All that. Right, then. Listen, he, Joe's in you. his feelings, rightfully so. But if an older, I didn't even, because he's not older than you, I don't think, but he, he, he up more. And he potentially could have made some mistakes that you made, stopped you from making an emotional choice, and might have saved you some millions of dollars. Okay, let me ask you. That's what he's supposed I, to do. I, I agree. I respect that. Let's stop comparing yeah, it to fuck niggas. It, fuck it. It, let's stop, <laughs> let's, let's stop, yeah, let's stop comparing it to jail about. niggas and street shit. This is simply my man reacted, or he reacted, and a nigga just said, yeah, you should. You should have did it different. You didn't have to do it like that. Sometimes niggas don't want to hear that. And you know what? You, so you know, know what? Yeah, sometimes I, niggas I, do need I, to hear I, that. I, I agree. I, got I agree. It. I agree with you. What, I, what I'll say to you, because you're not saying nothing wrong. You're saying some shit. Yeah, you're saying some real shit. What I will say to you is I, I agree with that point, and I stand on what I'm saying. We are community. So if you want to help, call and help. True. Text and help. True. Reach out personally and help. True. Too many of these niggas that play the algorithm game look for the hot story on the timeline and then want to chime in on the internet and call themselves helping. Fuck that help. I thought I, he called you personally. As after he was already all over the internet saying some shit, speaking on business that wasn't his. Nigga, mind your fucking business, nigga. Oh, Plus, shit. presenting problems isn't, or, or saying you did something wrong isn't Damn, necessarily man. helping, right? I, yeah. I agree with you now. Stop. I, no, I'm dead ass. It happened already, nigga. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm not off it. Why do you I, do I'm that? I'm not off it. Nah, nigga, you just said he could be nah, emotional. Nah, I'm on your side, nigga. Fuck, fuck that nigga yeah, now, nigga. I'm on your side. I'm a traitor, nigga. Yeah, I don't want to hear none I'm of that. I don't want to hear none of that shit. You nah. shoot the nigga now. I don't, I don't know. I'm not shooting him. I, I'm listen. I'm talking about people that inspire me. Was that an Uzi? Mm -hmm. or but was I stand that, on. I stand on what I stand on. If any of you niggas want to help me, find a way to call me. I'm not mm -hmm. with none of that internet algorithm God, shit that y'all be doing, and that's not help. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. That is not that help part. to me, I especially I while I'm in my darkest times trying to manage some shit. Oh. Here y'all go, the most famous, popular niggas in the world on the internet speaking of something. It does more hindrance than good, and fuck that. No, I agree. I'm I agree. You, agree. I, 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 no, I, I thought, thought y'all. Yeah, I thought oh. y'all spoke in private. Yeah, that was after the fact. Yeah, but I, I never knew he did anything. Yeah, with him he was all over the internet, but it's fine. That's my man. That's my man. And spank my man. That nigga's my man. But yeah. don't help me. Let me build what I'm building. You can't yo, say that. Yo, yo, shut up, yo. I can say it. You can't don't help me. I can identify the niggas that. The dog. Yo, dog, any of y'all niggas want to help me, help me, man. Call yeah, my phone. Y'all right. help him. Right. He, he, and, he don't want to be and, and it's just speaking for him. I don't want help from I all do. you niggas. No, no, me. Yeah, Antoine. Yeah, there you go. Antoine, not even Ish. There you go. Antoine wants to help. Help What the fuck me. you talking about, nigga? AM. Imani tried to help you last Patreon. You cursed him out. I mm. didn't curse Imani out never. So you want help from rich mm. niggas? No, I want nigga, I want oh. help from niggas that know what they talking oh. about. Uh-oh. So Imani don't know what he's talking about. No, he don't. Mmm. We'll wait. We'll wait. Don't, don't cause no trouble. See, look, man. he just did the same thing Kevin Hart did. I did. But he publicly shit on a nigga that's not here. <laughs> oh, shit. No, you did it. Uh, listen, listen, where's my phone? In your hand. I feel, I, I feel so bad, y'all. I really do feel bad that one of my new favorite people is Candace Owens. Not politically. 
I had to clear that up. Not politically. I'm not informed enough on all of that politics shit. And every time I hear her say some political shit, I don't think I agree with it. But when she cuts that shit off and is just a girl, she is the funniest person on the planet. By far. She's like political Azalea Banks to me. <laughs> like she, she read Ariana Grande for filth. She's fascinated by hoes. I, uh, oh, no, hold up. I am very much in favor of following hoe culture. I've been fascinated by hoes. I, I, the hoe apocalypse that we are facing. It's the amazing to follow these women and the way that they think. <laughs> and chief among them right now is Ariana Grande. Chief among them. <laughs> covered what she's been up to. She has been proud of being a homewrecker really uh, throughout her entire career. You got a boyfriend, you got a husband. Well, Ariana Grande is going to go after them. And then, ha ha, I don't care you when everything happens and the dust settles. She does not care about ruining your relationship. Nothing more disgusting than what she did recently. Uh, what happened, she Candace? She was working on Wicked. I think it's either a movie or a play that's coming out. And she's playing Glinda the Good Witch. And she had this really unfortunate looking guy <laughs> that Damn. was playing a part. I don't even know what it was. As a munchkin who cares, right? Yo. But he was married. Yo, he was married to his high school sweetheart. Her name is Lily J. And they had just had their first child after oh. being together for almost a decade. But that, of course, didn't stop Ariana Grande. Hot Why didn't ass. it stop Ariana Grande? Because that actually excites her. I actually think <laughs> that she suffers from some random hoe disorder where Yo. she actually <laughs> likes it when a man is taken. She's like, mm, I like that. I want to just, mm, I need that. Like, she's just turned on by it in a weird way. She didn't care that he was ugly, nothing. She just said, I <laughs> want to break up this family. And Lily J actually, or via her friends, announced that Ariana Grande actually held their baby. So I want you to think about oh, the level yeah, yeah. of hoe you need to be at to hold somebody's brand new baby that came out and like, oh my God, he's so cute. And now I'm going to take the father. She did that. She actually <laughs> did that. And if you thought that was egregious, Ariana Grande oh, taking Ethan worse? Slater from his high school sweetheart and him recently being a father. I'm, and by the way, not even going to talk about him. He's such a weak man. He disgusts me. God damn. The fact that she now has come out with a song that basically celebrates her home wrecking capability. She's just like, and? I don't care. Oh, yeah, that's the name of the song. Yeah, the song uh, so is entitled and. Yes, yes. Oh, yes and. and. I'll, finish. I'll give you guys a full sentence. She means, yes, I took your husband. I took the father of your children. And so what? And I'm just going to read you some of her. We don't need to read the lyrics. We get the point, Candace. Holy shit. Can't, <laughs> can't, <laughs> how, how do you not well, love? No, she don't see no Candace or... Uh, Corinne. Yeah. Mm. Stefan. <laughs> Stefan's got on the run. On the Nigga, sh shut the fuck Look up. Look who you attack. Huh? I did that on purpose. Look who you attack. <laughs> you, I did that on purpose. Can we just get back to the fucking them topic? Them two niggas saying, what are you going to say to I them two? You're the host. Hmm? <laughs> you're the host. I didn't say nothing, nigga. Don't put it over Stop there. Stop tippy toeing around niggas, man. Rat, Look man. how tough it is to get people back back on the same page. Stop, <laughs> right? right? Jesus Christ. It's like wrangling fucking cats. Anyways, let's get what? back to fucking <laughs> Candace. <laughs> okay? Calling us bitches. Meow. Calling us bitches. You call us me. Well, she called you a child. <laughs> I'm too. Yo, I watched that shit from a different lens. <laughs> that shit hit different on the playback. Here it was regular. <laughs> I don't like that shit. I'm a fry high ass. I'm not today. Okay. Yeah, I'm not your friend no more. Nigga, all that brother says shit out the window. Candace Owens. I'm if, on an adoption. If, if you're so. watching, which you're probably not, <laughs> we got a seat for you up here. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got we got a seat for you. Any seat you want, come up here and let's just do the Lord's work. Let's just tell the truth. You should come up here for truth day. And let's just tell the truth about people, man. That um, was great. Hey, yo, please, if that you get up nice. here, please give me three weeks prep so I can prepare <laughs> properly, so I can have something to talk about uh, and do sure. my job. Thank for you. Sure. For sure, for Since sure. Since you guys expressed that we had two weeks notice mm -hmm. before Dr. Umar came up here and the people attacking me. So please give me three weeks prep so <laughs> I can that, that, that Patreon episode hit you in the soul. Somebody attacked <laughs> you? That nigga, shit hit him in the spirit. No, I didn't, I didn't watch it, nigga. nigga well, <laughs> I can't even lie, right? Which one is it? Yo, no, you watched so it? No, the comments, the comments. Mm -hmm. I was, I was reading the comments on Twitter, social media. It's been going. It did exceptionally well than I thought it would do. And I asked you to thank me earlier. You said no, fuck you. So salute. But I'm just saying, just let's let's get it going. Mel, what do you think about what Candace had to say about <laughs> Ariana Grande being a home wrecker? First of all, that was fucking. That read was epic. Um, I just have one question. How do you steal somebody's husband? You can't. 
Oh, That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, oh. Can't take a person oh, that don't. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. Can't take a person oh. that doesn't already have a foot out the fucking door. How do you steal somebody's husband? As a per- how did you? How do? Don't even not you. think I'm not, about it. I'm not talking about. Mm. <laughs> okay, what? Do you believe that? What you just? That's what I'm saying. How did you come up with what? that conclusion? Yes. Uh, no, I'm literally asking. Like, how do you steal somebody's husband? If he is devoted to his wife, they just had a baby. If he's devoted to his family, I don't give a fuck. I mean, Ari- Ari- Ariana Grande, she's cute in like a. You gotta see homeboy though. Here comes some hate. That's hate. That's white hate. <laughs> That's right. And you about to be hypocritical. That's, yeah, that's why you got you mm-hmm. got to see homeboy. Uh, he, no, she, she was she was she was absolutely right in her depiction of what he looked like. You seen yeah. him? He, there's a picture of him. Oh, I know. He's, I, I thought you ain't, wasn't familiar with he is, he, he is he is not that easy on the eyes. That's disrespectful. I don't give a fuck. Look, but you didn't just, say that. You didn't say that. We're about literally that, just that gymnastic we're, girl. Huh? I'm just, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Do you have Tourette's? You what say, is wrong with you? you? Say, you're insulting Listen, me too. Listen, stick to the topic well, at hand. He made, he, 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 he made, a, he made, made a, a good point. point. <laughs> what is the point? Oh, shit. Bring it back around. You did, oh, yeah. I'll take my time. You said he just wasn't easy on the eye, right? Mm-hmm. But you didn't say about the gymnastic girl that we said that... Simone Biles. Simone Biles. You didn't, how does she look on the eye? I think she is a lovely young woman. Got it. I didn't ask okay. that. Okay. okay. All right. I no, just no, no, answered no, no. the question. She answered your question. We obtained that. We <laughs> just answered my the shit. question. Now me. let's just get back to the topic at hand. Yeah. This okay, is, man. This I don't, you okay. can't, you can't steal somebody's husband. You can't steal somebody's husband. If he's devoted to his family and his wife, then that's where he's going to say. If he never you, came across Ariana Grande, that might be cheap. But then that that's bullshit. That's playing with royalty. That's bullshit. Y'all then you don't go. then you don't love your it's, wife and you're you not devoted and to your family. No, if, no, if, no, no, no. if like some famous chick can walk by, bat her eyelashes, and suddenly you're just like, oh duh. How is that not true? All right. As as the men in the room. There's levels to you oh, like stop touching on me. You go in. Come as, on. No, it's as, not where as, I go. As the men in the room, are we letting this rock? Come on. Okay, I have a question. 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 Shoot. Ish. Yes, ma'am. You're devoted to your... Is she your fiance? No. She going to be? Oh, shit. Possibly. Okay. So let's just say Sally Richardson in her posse days. Don't call his girl Sally Richardson. Anymore. I'm not. Sally I'm, Richardson. I'm, I'm is, talking about Sally oh, Richardson. that's a real person? Yes. What? Oh, can you Google her you right now? You don't know now? Sally Richardson? How the fuck do you not know, Sally, know Sally Richardson? Richardson? You're bugging. That's some 70s shit. No, it ain't. It is not <laughs> 70s. No, it ain't. And currently she is still super bad. Anyways. Keep going. So Sally Richardson in, Sally in, in, in her po- crosses your path. Mm. You, you leaving your girl? Never. Boom. Because you're devoted. Mm-hmm. You're right. That was did your boom. Yeah, that's that's my whole point. Huh? He can't leave her. Did he you didn't, say he didn't leave, leave her. her? He was just. He just fucked around. No, she. He left her. Mel. I rem, I remember the story. He left I her. Ain't gonna lie. Some days it's tough not to dog value. Why? <laughs> that's why I'm shutting up. Some days but anything I say is gonna be dog Some days is tougher than others to I was not. Rolling. He did not cheat. He left his wife. It, is it to your understanding? That the term home wrecker doesn't really exist. No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I don't understand why, why you're, what you're asking. He's asking like this, right at this moment. I don't, I don't, I, I don't understand how this applies. I'll take some of the bell off of. Uh, I'm gonna take some of the weight off. We are having a podcast. You don't think home wrecker exists? I don't think you so. can't. I think that for you to be able to wreck somebody's home, they allow you in. I think that if a man or woman is married and in a certain type of relationship, mm. that's a willingness that they have to put that they family at risk. And that goes for anybody in that, in that situation. Like, you don't trip and fall on a dick. You don't trip and f- end up in a girl. Like, that doesn't happen. So if a dude is married or a chick is married and they allow a third party to, to infiltrate their well, household. question. In Wicked, does the munchkin fuck the witch? No, uh, he no. does not. Just, no. but, 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 and she started rocking also, him she, like a fucking Rolex what, on red carpets. What, what, what if what if the person, the third party, is persistent? 
Okay. Um, they look good. Self flabbergasted. They're persistent. What that got to do with it? Persistency. So what? Persistency. Flip. Get you far. You persistent. Can, no. Get you, you far. Police. No. Police. I'm, I'd like to file a restraining order against this oh. against this oh, person. So you want to call they, the cops because I'm they just like saying. You. Okay. Yeah, I see where you're going me, with you this. I'm just saying. With, My hands are up, Karen. They, they, they meandering. Yeah. Nah, Joe, I'm not. Like you, you started this off with when you when you seen homegirl, um, and she was talking. Target. She was kind of borderline shooting. And you said and you said no, no, no. But I, but I only said no due to the insults, nigga. You can't tell me you. So you would have fucked her if she didn't insult you. Don't ask me that. I'm married, and that's disrespectful. See, look, well, that's so about that, you. But that's, that's what, what we're talking, talking about. about. I am not married. I, we know. I am not we know. I'm we can see. Completely single. We can. No. So. Well, we don't know if you're completely single. Um, Listen to this. If, if any dude that cheats, any woman that cheats, it's, stop it. It's, listen, bro. Let me answer you. Any woman or dude that question, cheats, ish. yeah, they are cheating willingly. Nobody coerced them or or played a mind game or trick on them to cheat. Antoine, you're Ish, that's not true, yo, bro. Let me jump in here because they just you disagree with that? Enough of what y'all. You disagree? Saying. No. You disagree? No. Of course. Okay. Okay. Shoot. Okay. The guy that's in a relationship that does not cheat. Mm -hmm. That guy that tells all of the women that are trying to court him and pursue him that he's in a relationship and he's not cheating. Mm -hmm. Those women that disregard that mm -hmm. and still continue to court that man, mm -hmm. pursue that man, flirt with that man, ask that man out, I gaze at that man, touch him inappropriately, oh, ask him inappropriate things, ask him about the wife, all of those things. Mm -hmm. What do they call that woman? Oh, I see your point. Um, well, Candace I, called her a hoe. So no, we on our talk. Our talk. Oh, oh, oh okay. That. Sorry. I don't, I don't, that woman a is a home record. Yeah, I will, I, Cut. that woman is a home record. I, I, I see but, but she, you, she is targeting men that are, that are no, a part of homes. But and if, what Candace is saying is some women out here have a get off on it. that. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want, in your argument, maybe I kind of agree a little bit. But if the nigga becomes succept susceptible to it, to that, to it, then yes. she wrecked then, the home. Then, then yes. he played a part. But the woman that's just pursuing those men, they call those women home wreckers. They do, but if you never got into the home, you can never you wreck, wreck it? it. No, but that's what they're called. That, that ain't, I get what yeah, you're that saying. Point. Your, your intent it, is, they're, 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 they're your intent is to take You are willing to. Yes. yes. But, if willing, you don't, but if a nigga don't allow you to, to do it, we're not talking about that. Have the we, we only talk, a home agree. Yeah. We're talking about her willingness mm. to do so. To do so. But then you're also talking about success rate at doing so. You know what I'm saying? I think you got to succeed you have to the, be a home wrecker, bro. Exactly. You can try all you want. Yeah, you have you to be try. successful to be a home wrecker. Listen, if you try, it's yes, semantics at the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Like, yo, I put it on but myself. That is the yo, name I, that they call. Look, I was a person. I was heartbroken a long time ago, and I only went after girls who were either married or in a long term relationship. And you're a homewrecker. By, okay. Um, and Home. my, yeah, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> it was. But it was like, yo, you can't, if you allowed it, I, I almost felt like I ain't do nothing wrong. Like, if you love, if you was so committed to your relationship, nothing should have happened. How and I got a whole nother toxic view on the word home record that maybe we could save for another time. Let's hear it. Fuck it. But it's more like apartment record. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Typically, cheating is the result of someone wrecking the home. I disagree. I think that's a justification. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, I disagree don't, with that. I believe it. I mean, in, in some, go to therapy. It's not typical. I I'm, think I'm I, in. No, not no. you. Oh. No, meaning. <laughs> no, I think that that's fifty fifty. I think, and also, also, I think people use that as a justification to cheat. Yeah. Oh, so y'all talking about? Okay, I'm talking about people that I'm not talking about just uh, casual cheaters. The people that just are cheating, that are just doing it like for sport. The mm -hmm. people that just can't don't lack the discipline to not do it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people that's in a home and now something happens in the home that's fucked up, and now I'm stepping out. That's selfish. <sighs> So, outside of outside of selfish, outside of I mean, look, well, what's marriage like? Isn't marriage like for better, for worse, and sickness and health, blah blah blah? Like you're going, the, you're well, going. You're, to, you know what's funny? No, you're, I, no can't, I, can't, I can't comment. I am not married, so you, it's, you it's, would be better not, to answer that question, Parks. Yeah, you, sure. sound, you sound like you will wreck a home. Why? Mm. How? Just your belief on this. 
I'm literally so, saying if the home is like in a disarray. Then so, you're not home wrecking. Then no, then cheating is not the answer. It's like if it's meaningful, if the if your family is meaningful to you mm-hmm. and you want to, you know, you want to keep it, go to fucking therapy. Fix it. Work on it. That's or the fuck whole point. Ariana Grande when she's throwing it at you. I mean, Yo, you know what's funny about women? This is what's funny about women. And I'm not going to name no names. But there are a bunch of public relationships where the man left his longtime girlfriend or longtime baby mama or new time baby mama, had a little break, met a woman, went on to have a long, successful relationship with that woman, and all the women called that, that woman, girl a home wrecker. Yep. I know who, who you're talking about. That's true. I'm talking about a bunch no, of that's people. That's a bunch of them. I'm yeah. talking about a bunch that's of a people. That's a bunch of them. So I think women are just really pick and choose with mm-hmm. who they want to tag lame in that. Yeah, in that that's who, that's who, true. Who, they like, who they like more in the equation. Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. That's true. Mm-hmm. We hey. can move on. Shout out to Candace Owen. <laughs> shout out to Ariana Grande. <laughs> and shout out to Ariana Grande. <laughs> and the dude. And, <laughs> and the Munchkin and the dude. Yeah. And, and this record ain't even the first time. Like she, addre- she had the other one, Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Yeah. That was literally the name of the song. A lot of girls posted that one too. Yeah. A lot of girls post that. Still to this Wait, day. Wait, who said what? Ariana, Ariana Grande, Grande has, has a, a record song. called Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Correct. Mm. Play it. That little height deprived. And they thought at that, they thought at that time she was talking to Big Sean. Yeah. Oh, so she's a little. It's her bag. So that's, that's not. And to you, that's right. not a home wrecker. Mm? I mean, somebody who shows this habitual pattern. Mm-hmm. Oh. What? Would you yawn in the song? What the fuck, the fuck was that? that? What what the fuck? To be, to be in no, you all right? <laughs> I, I want the knife. <laughs> I just, I feel like it's what semantics at this point. Like we said, it's just semantics. We, oh. But she's been, but here's the thing is, she's oh. been successful. So she is in fact a homewrecker. Yes, yeah. she is in fact a homewrecker. And wears she, it like a cape, clearly. You just lost though. You just lost. Why? Because you just... You just submitted to his point. I didn't. She has been successful is my point. Mm. She, but your initial so point was you can't wreck a home that she can't did. wreck the home. That yeah. was for her to succeed, point. the home was yeah, already wrecked. You agree with me. That was you original. with him now. Now you're you agreeing with him. Okay, whatever. I don't you agree, agree with him, but it's fine. You're okay. okay. You got you. You're a gang gang. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? Just hilarious. What else? We got just hilarious. Boy, this is a confusing story for me. I have no idea what's going on. I'm lost as well. So Charlamagne and Envy was on their show. Charlamagne asked Envy if SZA is underrated, underappreciated. And they were having that talk. In that talk, uh, I guess the comp was Mary J. Blige. They were saying, do you think that she gets the credit like like Mary gets? And that might not be a fair comparison. No, we're talking about five years versus 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. 30 years. So then Jess Hilarious went on Instagram and cursed these niggas out over that shit. She said, if I can find it, here we go. Here we go. She said, these niggas is trash. Damn. <laughs> Envy, shut up. I know artists be pissed when old heads do this because now everybody negatively comparing SZA to Mary J. Blige, and it ain't even her fault. She has her own identity already. Face palm emoji. I am so confused. I am so, I'm confused as well. Is this Maybe this is friendly fire? Nah. I don't think so. Even if it is, is it's nasty. It's so, it walks such a fine line that you kind of don't do it. It's like if I got on Twitter and started shooting at you, it could be friendly fire, but because the audience and the platform is so big, then some people might not take it for such, and it's going to create a negative thing that we don't want to happen on the show. And the difference in that is you are known as a co-host on the show. They still don't. We still don't know what happened now. Has she been on since that whole kind of I heard they confusion? Kind of- from what I heard, and again, don't quote me, I heard that it's kind of up in limbo now because she publicly made the announcement yeah. that she was the official co-host. But I heard now the label, I mean, not the label, but the, the owners uh-huh. are, are saying no. Yeah, because and then doing that, she must have got the, the word is no. You just jumped out the window. That's not acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Her doing this yeah. might have looks been a lash like out. the word yeah. is, is no. no yeah. And I got smoke with y'all up there. That's not acceptable. You can't do no shit like that. Mm. I'm not mad at this. <laughs> of course you I mean, of Yo, course. I knew you was going to stand on that side. Yo, go ahead. I'm listening. No, I'm only not mad at it if what we just said is true. <sighs> because you believe in scorched earth. 
Not scorched earth. I believe. Singed. I believe. I believe. Low, low well, fire here. Low, 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 low light toasting. I, I, I believe, <laughs> brush fire. I believe in our creatives being expressive. Mm. And just hilarious is that. Mm-hmm. And mom's been the word with her. We haven't heard anything from her regarding any of this Breakfast Club stuff. Even when they went on there and said whatever they said, which mm-hmm. I took to be in defense of her, we didn't hear nothing from her. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'm just happy to hear anything from her that lends to us getting information. But now what does this, what does this do for, let, let's say the Breakfast Club thing is, is dead in the water. It's a wrap. Now seeing you lash out against the people that you were once possibly going to be working with, what do you think that says to potential other companies that might have wanted to bring you in. She's welcome up here anytime. I'm not talking. I'm, I'm talking about if somebody wanted to hire you over here to do something. They Joking. looked at how you. Oh shit! Now this is how you treat the company and the people after you left. Yeah, but I, I'm, I agree with that. But I also mm-hmm. agree that there's a such thing as entrepreneur privilege, mm. and she has that. You too. Hmm? You. Yeah, I was about too. to bring up you. Me yeah. too. Yeah, okay. like some people. Normal people shouldn't do that because of everything you just said. Somebody controls how you eat. Jess Hilarious can go to any club and perform Mm -hmm. for the year and be fine. Mm -hmm. Got it. Her comedy peers are not looking at this as that. It it, it could be material for her. Yeah. And her comedy set. It could be material. Yeah, Jess, Jess is great. Jess, Jess is Jess is good. But damn, I want more information on this. I don't think this is underrated, by the way. No, but the comparison between her and Mary is just that's a weird it's, comparison. It's a weird comparison yeah, and unnecessary. Do. And you're right. This is just not underrated. She's mm-hmm. like yeah. the most selling artist of the yeah. last year. Like, I, I'm not underrating you. I, 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 I got the comparison, though. Or I got the... Uh, I just think it's, 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 it's the where we are in music and entertainment. Like, a, it's hard for somebody to get to that level in the black space. To where they are just worship. Like, she don't get the worship that Mary and them get. Even no, Mary's, a, Mary's at this point. No, I'm not talking a, about. I'm talking about like even back then. I think SZA gets that worship. I think she is. Okay. I'm, you ever what? seen a SZA concert? Like, you ever no, said you didn't like? You ever, you ever said you didn't like her album? No. And watch what happened. <laughs> yeah, no, I think she gets that worship, dog. Gotcha. SZA is her, and she's recognizes her. Yes, she a, is. A thousand percent. They okay. learn. They will learn you. Yeah. I don't want no smoke. I love her. There you go. On another note, I really, I'm so confused. I, I'm, I'm with you on the confusion with the Breakfast Club because if I was Jess, I'd be so fucking mad right now. Like, in terms of being on the platform consistently, of course they had like, you know, the quote unquote tryouts. Mm-hmm. And that's not what they called it, but that's what it appeared to be. But she was the one that they used the most consistently. So it's almost like an audition process. Mm-hmm. How much more do I have to prove to you that the audience fucks with me? I get along really well. There's chemistry with the co-host, which is extremely hard to, you know, you can't manufacture that. Correct. If I was her, I would be, I'd be fucking furious right now. But what if you, what if you were furious? What if it was you opening your mouth is the reason why we're here? Mm Mm-hmm. Y'all keep assuming that Breck, the iHeart are the people that took away the contract. What do you mean? Y'all keep assuming that in this scenario, y'all saying that iHeart is the one that debted this. backed out. And I don't view it that way. How do you view it? You think she backed out? I think she left them. Really? But she was the one that made the... And why you make the announcement? Made the announcement without... Man, when you go back and look at the announcement, it wasn't really an announcement. It got framed and presented as an announcement, but she was at a party. She was at a party just talking about the shit going on with her. And at that time, I think she was hosting... She made a set some shit loosely. The blogs picked it up, run with it. But I don't think that that deal was done when she said that. I, I think the same thing that Star thinks. I watched what Star had to say. And we Shots are two people that are familiar with how those iHeart contracts look. And if you are a creative person, there's a lot of shit in that contract that I just can't see you being cool with. Mm. I think there was some language in there that at the last minute... She walked away. Her and the lawyers looked at, and it was properly explained to her, and she said, never in a million years am I giving you 5 to 10% of all of my other ventures. Never in a million years am I fucking creating this, and now you get a piece of this, and now you get a piece of my money. I've been getting all of my money all of this time as an independent comedian. Mm -hmm. You're not even offering enough money for me to look at this contract properly. I'm out of here. And that's why I think mm. she's been quiet on this. And that's why I think mm. she's firing like this. Mm. Fuck mm. y'all now. 
Mm-hmm. I done came up there all them times for free from Baltimore to New York, Baltimore to New York. Rock the fucking ratings. Y'all looked at the metrics. Y'all waste my time uh, with months of negotiating only to do that. Man, suck my dick. Now, speculative on my part, but that is what I think happened. That's a possibility. It's possible. But either way, it's, you know, the way I look at it is like the fact that she showed and proved consistently for it was like a year. And then so if it was in that, um, you know, that scenario where she's handed like a bullshit contract, either way. You know, it just like... And I'm not, not saying bullshit contract. Or just something that just was like a non-negotiable. Or maybe bullshit to her. Yeah. Yeah. It could Com- be bullshit to her. It could be bullshit, could be bullshit to her. Bullshit I'm, to her. I'm not saying that <clears throat> I heart handed her right, a bullshit right, contract. Right. Mm-hmm. She may have received it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Sure. But that's just standard up there. Mm. Huh. It's possible. That's some of that same shit that Spotify tried to stick in the contract. I can't. I can't even... I can't. Right. There's not even a room to entertain this. It's not even wiggle room. It's not even the negotiation room now. Yeah. Gotcha. When you do that, that's the re- that's the hard line for you, and the hard line for me is never in a million never, years. I would, so, I would mm-hmm. never do that. None of us are willing to go further. That's the end of this. Mm. Okay. So there's this story floating around. I wanted to get you um, all your, your your takes on it. Um, mm-hmm. There's this influencer. Well, sorry. This woman moved from Tallahassee, Florida to Houston because she found that her favorite influencers lived in Houston. So she moved her and her three kids to Houston to become a social media influencer. Okay. And, um, well, she ended up homeless. Uh, Damn. Damn. And so it's kind of like made the news, obviously, since we're talking about it. And what was interesting- How old is she? She's uh, like 24 years old. How much is her GoFundMe at right now? (laughs) That's I all I'm hearing. I haven't uh-huh. heard. Th- I haven't heard if there's a GoFundMe, but a homeless 24 year old. But when I literally with with three kids, I'm like, you you made certain choices that kind of like yo was she an influencer? Stupid, in stupid, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, yeah. she wasn't an influencer. In so Florida. she's gonna get started over there. Yeah, that was her plan. That was the plan. How does she look? A good question. No, let Mel answer it too, please. Yeah, it's, please. This, 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 this. We need to know this because this would tell me. Easy a lot. on the eyes or not so easy on the eyes? The latter. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hard on the eyes? Let me see. Let me see a picture of her. <laughs> Fam, I don't care if she was easiest Sunday morning on the eyes. <laughs> you moved you and your family across the country to be an influencer <laughs> when you were not currently an influencer. Well, she thought she wasn't an influencer because of her location. That, I mean, that's just a good story, though. She was just moved because you might be ran with her kids and shit looking crazy. She just made up a story like that. I mean, motherfuckers move to L.A. to become an actor? Yeah. Actress? Actor and influencer are different. You could be an influencer But they, they from, end up homeless over there, too. Yeah, but you could be an influencer from Podunk, North Dakota somewhere if you fire. That is true. It's true. It's a fact. That's true. It just... That shit was just wild to me. I right. wanted, I just, I, I, she had no plan. Like some of the things I'll be on my explore page because of my brothers. You know what <laughs> I mean? Brothers who? <laughs> or because your number clears four digits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, because that, that make them kind of my explore page? Yes. Yes, because they yeah. know. Yes. yes. Yeah, you, mm-hmm. you know the Instagram people Big listening is. to you. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Since you're asking. My, bro- um, my, my brothers send them to my page. They be in Germany. I'll be like... Oh, uh, bon, bon giant. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Parks, is that, is, is that allowed? I don't even think that's racist. I don't even know. That sounded so racist. Like, Parks is German, bro. Yeah, hey, that didn't sound like German. I don't know what the fuck that was. But yeah, you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> it sounded like Mandarin. <laughs> that shit sounded crazy. <laughs> I was in my phone trying to find Chris Stokes' ex wife. Uh, making a post confirming that Chris Stokes did all that shit that we thought he did. I didn't find the post, but she definitely said that shit. My question mm-hmm. to y'all, well, right. Mel in particular, mm-hmm. I guess, is... Go ahead. Don't run from it. I, there's nothing about that I can fucking co-sign. Like, there, I can't wrap my mind around that shit. Yeah, like, I guess that's, that's what I'm asking. What do you think... What do you think... I'm looking for the woman perspective on women that get away from these type of dudes and then blast them or well, not blast them but speak the truth I have a post if you want me to read it please I want to read it send it to me okay send it to me I want to read it got gotcha. you <laughs> gotcha. well Mel well, you can, you can. I I understand the instinct of your relationship falls apart and there's probably some animosity and you want to lash out 
and the way to people, the way that people lash out now is publicly, you know, exposure culture is a fucking thing now, Mm -hmm. but you look so fucking stupid. If you're now saying that the accusations were completely true and the accusations are that he, you know, Mm -hmm. played with young boys Mm -hmm. and you stayed with him during that time, I, what do you think that 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 does not absolve you of any guilt? That looks, you look crazy making those statements after the fact. It looks nuts. Uh, I have the statement here. She says, I married him in 2004 just days before I gave birth to my fourth child. He has faced accusations of sexual acts that I know to be true, but parties are unwilling to come forward and confirm them. I can confirm that he committed these acts, and it begins with acknowledging what I didn't want to accept. I married a perpetrator of such crimes. Now, it's time for me to liberate my spirit and open up about it. For the past two and a half years, I've dedicated time to, you guessed it, Self-improvement, working on my mental, physical, and emotional well-being. In 2024, I want people to stop doing that, too. (laughs) Um, Often in solitude. At this point, my heart's desire is for every victim, including myself, to heal and live long, healthy, productive lives. I seek justice. Therapy. Wow. I don't like that, Joe. I don't like that, that at shit all. Was I don't like fucking it before. Nasty. Because like, so you as an enabler, while you were in were in a relationship with him, you enabled his actions, you turned a blind eye. Right? And then now that you leave him, you want to kick his back in. And I'm not saying what he did was right. It's disgusting. And I do agree that certain parties should come forward, but she should be held accountable as well. Because now you 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 were aware of this. Well, what happens is they benefiting from. Exactly. Whatever it is. So if now it's I'm true. no longer if right. Yeah, if, if it's, it's true. true. And yes. now that I'm no so longer alleged. benefiting from the shit, now I, I have an axe to grind with you. So now what better way than to go confirm all the shit that they've been saying about you? And then blame it on my healing yeah. or I, I needed to be healed and all of the other yep. stuff. Now I, I could go and throw the little trigger words out there. Yeah, that's an excuse she to, to garnish sympathy. She yep. mentions like two thousand and four having had the kid and whatever else. I'm just like, it's twenty twenty four. Twenty years later of no money. There you Child. go. Look, I can't. And I mean, my thing with her is we didn't need her to confirm any of this stuff if you've ever seen Raz B. That like, if you fact. ever just really looked at him and listened to him over a period of time, something happened. Mm-hmm. He wasn't just on the Millennium Tour wiling out about certain people being present, not present, him feeling comfortable. He'd been screaming and crying out in interviews for a million years. Mm-hmm. Believe men when they tell you that and they got some. Okay. So. That's, that was nuts. That's what he said. Uh, he didn't say that. He did say that. <laughs> Is that what you said? Basically, basically, it all started with it started with it started with Chris Stokes. Like it started one day with Chris like, well, let me touch you. You know what I mean? Somebody must like it. I tell you, I didn't like it. I tell you, my hurt. I tell you, I don't know what happened. I could even, I can't even go back into the mind frame of where I was at because I was, I was 11 and 12 years old. Raz recorded his Yeesh. confession on camera. He's been saying this for a minute. Well, my truth, my, my truth is the fact that Chris Stokes had me and Jarrell Houston in a room sucking each other's dicks. My truth is that, hold on, hold on, Judy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My truth is that Jay Bug had sex with fucking Leslie. You get what I'm saying? So I'm dealing with everybody's blaming, pointing the finger at me, but ain't nobody backing me. So this ain't nothing that you can do. This ain't have, this only have nothing to do with you. I'm not going to play this whole thing, That's but Raz B has been going on these types of rants mm-hmm. since... He for said, a long time. Yeah, he said his ass was hurting. That's what they blanked out. To your interpretation, I interpret it as ass. Nigga has some of his ass. Yeah. And like, they kept coming back. That's the problem. You got a bad ass when niggas is doing that. You got to be bad. That's fucked up. I can't right. say that he's a kid. Can't. No, you can't. He's, he was just, a kid just, when that just, happened. Just write it down, man. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Just bleep it or something. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you my man. You, come on, we supposed to save each other, nigga. You going, Facts, out a, you going out a different hill. No, I'm, I'm not. That's a hill. You going down that shit like a... Like, like yeah. it's... He looking straight. He don't want to. He ain't looking at you this time. Did y'all see? Did y'all see American Nightmare on Netflix? 
No, I want to watch that though. I watched it. Yes, I want to watch that. Okay. I had already seen the case because okay. I, I yeah. watch. I watch American Nightmare. All of the fucking murder shit, yeah. murder cases. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same. And that case was always great, but Netflix did a three part series mm-hmm. on it. And uh, spoiler alert: uh, it's about a kidnapping. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's about a kidnapping. Uh, a couple is in bed, sleep. Two niggas coming in in wetsuits, goggles, put, put goggles. Mm-hmm. Got, like they had a whole plan. They take the girl. They take her away. Dude goes to the cops. The cops don't believe none of this wetsuit bullshit nope. that he's saying. No. Nope. Uh, but then the girl eventually walks back, walks to her dad's house a day and a half later. And so it looks so it, it looks fishy. So the cops mm-hmm. get the girl's version of things. And the girl says that while I was held captive, uh, you know, the, the guy me. Mm-hmm. He me and he said, I wanna, I wanna, I have to record this. I have to record this for le- uh for leverage. Yes. And if you tell the police or I'm anything, put, we're gonna then, I'm, release then, I'm, it. then I'm putting this shit out. Uh, so that happens. And then he comes back later and says, we have to do that again. And you have to look like you're into it this time. And she shared all the pain that came with that. And then it just went on. I won't spoil it anymore. But why how did I get to that? I don't know yeah, But man. I'm gonna watch that shit Yeah man <laughs> You just watch it okay, it, was pretty, it was pretty good No it was good mm. That was a good case Did y'all hear about the um, uh, New Showtime show the, the Girl in the Wall I turned that shit off mm. In 10 minutes Really Turned it off In 10 minutes In 10 I scroll, quick I minutes I by it I didn't wanna see I that. started wow. trying to finish the Yellow Jacket season 2 and oh, wow. I, I heard season 2 sucks It's pretty bad Yeah that's why I didn't even bother yeah, watching it What's Girl in the Wall about You turned uh, it off Why Because it was bad I or turned it off because they in Britain somewhere or London or wherever mm-hmm, the fuck mm-hmm. they at. And then they had these accents. <laughs> you can't watch <laughs> movies with people with accents? or shows? Don't try to not put me in the best position to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, Joe, don't that, answer that. Look, that. I, I answered that, that before. Don't, that do that don't do it. No, I'm just, don't do it. No, so it is hard for they, some people. They me. Had, they had I, these fucking accents, which that was cool. But then they kept showing this crazy white girl just running the streets, running in the store, acting crazy. She had crazy for 10 minutes. I was like, get this bitch off my fucking TV. I'm not watching this. I'm not watching this. I read this a mess. I haven't I read the synopsis of the show and it seemed it seemed kind of ill. It was saying that a woman woke up and there was a body. Mm-hmm. She don't know the person. She don't know how the person got there, but she does know that she suffered from sleepwalking. Okay. And it's from there, it's like some investigation with a, like, basically, uh, did she do it? Did she have anything to do with it? Plus, her whole past is crazy. Wait, how did she end up in the wall? I don't. You have to watch the show. Okay, all right, all right. I'm going to tell okay. you everything. Okay, okay. okay. such a fucking character. Oh, sorry. <laughs> how did she even end Why was the I wasn't wall even from? hearing anything about a wall. She wakes up in a room? I didn't either. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't hear anything either. Fargo I'm pretty sure is that a little confusion? I, you know, it's not my bag. I Do you have know. Netflix? Okay. Do you have Showtime? Like, what yes. Is it, a fire stick? Anything? I, I have it. Watch something. I I jo- told you I just watched Killers of the Flower Moon. Fargo season five was fire. I think it's five. Yes. It was fire. Yeah. That was super fire. I'm on Hulu watching something called Death and Other Details. Okay. It's got all these great actors in it that you've seen before, and I don't know their names because I'm not male. And <laughs> This is oh, the, yeah. the yacht version of murder at the end of the world. <laughs> they on a yacht. Okay. There's mad, mad people on there. At the end of the episode, somebody dies. Now there's mad suspects in the rest of the series. It's like Clue. Yeah. 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 That's, <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I love it. It's good. I'm into that shit. Too. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> True Detective oh, 4, I, season, season oh. 4 is out. Saul is in it. Saul. Oh, yeah? It's I, good. It got some niggas in there. All right. He's the detective. I heard you started watching that Raising Canaan too. Did I? Who said that? That's what she told me. She said, she said you watched one episode and was like, oh, I like this. I'm going to watch it. Oh, my girl? Yeah. Don't listen to that, my girl said. <laughs> hey, but she get to talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> I did see one episode. It did look good. But I watched Raising Canaan before. I just didn't catch up. I'm not caught up. I, that's the one show I do like. Okay. Raising Canaan. Uh, mm-hmm. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, y'all Yo, think of what I'm, else? I, well, wait, wait. Here you I was, go. I was reading about a couple things. I'm finding me a lawsuit this year, yo. Mm. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I support you, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, Get nah. that bitch. What? I'm, getting, I'm getting somewhere. Somebody. Yeah, that's... Yeah. No, no. How does that's what you clap for? How does begging? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. That's begging? Yo. Nigga, make your money. Sell a brick. Exactly. I'm going to make my money. <laughs> When Probably. I get this lawsuit, you're gonna fall on a brick. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should have shoveled. Where your house at? That I don't got none. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I was just reading about these crazy ass lawsuits. I don't know what got me on the niggas done sued Red Bull because they didn't give them wings. Mm, that's <laughs> valid. Nigga, that's nigga, valid. They nigga got paid too. Yeah, yeah thirteen million for Red Bull. Nigga sued McDonald's because they, they said the coffee cup was hot. And they sued mm -hmm. McDonald's for being late. Uh, I like that. Oh yeah. You know yeah. who better watch out. Madonna for being late. You next. Leave Lauren Hill alone. I didn't say any names. <laughs> I didn't say a name. They gonna yeah. they gonna lose, but because the, the concert started. Uh huh. So the concert started. She had mad openers. Oh well, then she's not late. Yeah, I don't care. Sometimes I like how bold Niggas white people. Get. Yeah, like, that's, that's why I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get them one games of them. Y'all play with us. You can't play with white people. Can't. Sometimes you, you are tardy. <laughs> <laughs> I got dressed to come to your concert tonight, and you were late. Bruh, oh God, that's crazy. I didn't pay to see John King. I paid to see Madonna. <laughs> yo, fuck yeah. out of here, yeah. yo. They, nah, I'm with him. I'm Red with Bull gives you wings. A nigga thought sue. enough to go have an attorney draw up some paperwork to sue him. I know that attorney mm -hmm. was just laughing while he was writing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what? You said what now? You want to fly? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have wings. You jumped off That's a roof a now. Oh, okay. You hurt your leg? <laughs> Yo, There's a whole comedy what? show in that. Like lawsuits that lawyers get and how they got to dress that shit up. You know he got a third of that? <laughs> and they settled. Yeah. Well, That's, That's settle. the point. That's nice. They, I go they did. So oh, they settled. They're going to settle mine too when I find it. Oh, and I'm watching some shit on, on Netflix called Queen Pin with the little white girl I like. And Vince Vaughn is in there too. I don't I know anybody's name. I watched that. But it's about a scam with coupons. Coupon mm. scams. They ran yeah. it up too. Fire. Yeah. I watched the whole shit. They ran it up. Don't tell me. I didn't finish. Oh. I'm halfway through. It's a movie or a show? It's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, okay. They ran it up. It's a movie. They ran it the fuck up. Oh. with the little funny white girl there. Kristen Bell. Is that her name? Yep. Oh. Yeah. She married to Dax Shepard. I like her. Look, girl. <laughs> girl. Oh, no. You know who that is. Coupon scams. <laughs> nah, Multi-million nah, dollars. I know. When I talk Shit. about, they, no, no, no. They got to it, though. It wasn't just your regular coupon. They went and found the manufacturer, and they got busy. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> uh, speaking of Netflix, Netflix and WWE, right? Yes. 2025, yes. they have acquired the rights to Raw. Raw. Which yeah, Monday, Monday Night, Night Raw, Raw. Night exclusively Raw. on Netflix. Get in your bag, Flip. Come on, Flip. Uh, Come on, Flip. Deal. Yes, yes, yes. Will you be on so, there? Maybe, okay. maybe. Working towards well, No, he didn't want to do the work. That's not true. Oh, I'm working out now. It's not true. I'm working out now. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to get rid of it. <laughs> you working out? <laughs> yeah, I need, I need somewhere to go when you try to fire me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need somewhere to go. But um, yes, Raw will be exclusively on Netflix. Uh, shout out to, you know, January 2025. You know, on top of that, The Rock has also become a board member of the company. I don't. I forgot the name. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on, let me look. It I up. think it's WWE. No, it's not Titan. The company that owns no, the company that owns WWE and UFC. He's the board member now, and he take that Vin Diesel. And in the con <laughs> and in the contract that he got with them, he owns the rights to his name, The Rock. You know what I mean? So that's mm -hmm. that's important. I mean, he has a, you know that was something big. TKO. TKO. Yes, yes. So TKO. And it's amazing. He's a board member on TKO, and he uh, he acquired the rights to his name, The Rock. Big money shit. I, I don't care about been. your board, nigga. I just want to make smell what The Rock is cooking. Because, yeah, you know, WWE makes a lot of money off The Rock merchandise. Hell yeah. yeah. Sure. Like, but now, mm -hmm. and the likeness, he has it. Just like, everything. Yeah, the likeness just, is like. They license that shit out to video games and everything else. So the name, The Rock, oh, is important. So now he gets, yeah, a, yeah, he gets a percentage of right. that. That's crazy. Imagine when he runs for president. It's coming. Word. You better hurry. You better do something. That little, that little Trump DeSantis ticket. Nah, it's, it's catch a steam. <laughs> Yo, Trump. What, what ticket? You think, you think, you're, gonna, oh, you think you're gonna take DeSantis as his right? Yes. What? One hundred percent. Yes. One hundred percent. I think that's happening. One hundred percent. I think that's, that's happening. Happen. Now, mm -hmm. I also admit I don't know shit about none of this stuff. <laughs> let me get my. Let me get that out of the way. Because there's political people that listen to this. Like, oh, hey, they be hot. Oh, hey, when they talk politics, they don't know what they're talking about. You're right. I don't. I think he'll take a lady. I think he'll take a woman. Why? I, I think that work against him. I don't. For what he stand for, I think taking a, a, a woman works against him. Trump got a huge female base. So huge why would he need a woman? Base. To solidify it. 
No. I think Santa's. the women. I think the female basically has no. Like, what is it? The yeah. other shit. Yeah. They don't even make. They with the bullshit. <laughs> no, that's not Tupac. Shut up. Listen to their husband. It's true. Yeah, exactly. That's, true. that's what I'm saying. That's a, that's, that's true. Saying. Now, that ticket sounds scary, but I remember what black folks were saying when it was Trump Pence. Ain't nothing about to be scarier than that. Yeah, that was. Mm. I ain't know nothing about politics. I learned a lot real wild. quick. They talked yeah, about but Mike. They talked about Pence like like he was y'all worried about Trump himself. If he, they was, it was so bad. They was like, "Yo, if Trump win, you better hope he stay alive. You don't want this one getting up there." Yeah. Well, did, but mean, people what? saying, you know, people are saying, well, and what by people? I mean, when I turned on CNN for ten minutes, <laughs> that Biden ain't as down as we think. He not. He's not down with what us? No, down in oh, terms in the of numbers. no shot. Mm. No, I don't think so. Because because now they not really necessarily voting for Biden. They just voting for the Democratic Party. Who you so, voting for? I doubt if I vote. Mm. You should write the vote, man. Come oh. on, man. Your people oh, did all that, that publicly in front of yeah, a, you I know. I can hear my mom calling. Call now, boy. Oh, I can hear my mom calling. I'm sorry you're not voting, mama. <laughs> I mean, she going to call him directly. If, if I, oh, yeah, no, I'll vote. Might. No, she might. Oh, who you voting if, for? If I, if I had to vote, again, i vote for... Oh, no, I got to hear everyone's plan. Hmm. Are you going to... So, is there a chance that you may vote for Trump? Bernie Sanders. <laughs> He's not around, nigga. Is there a chance Cornel, that you may vote for Cornel Trump? West. I have to hear Cornell West. <laughs> there you go. Who's independent? Harambe. <laughs> Who's independent? <laughs> the rent is too damn high. Doc, Doc. That, stupid nigga. that was my man. Yeah. That rent is high, man. I, I don't know. I don't know that I'm voting for Trump, right? Oh shit. I don't know that that's happening. But I will tell you guys something. <laughs> yeah, this nigga. I will tell y'all something that's a little Republican of me. Oh, uh, the Candace Owen got you, man. I'll give it to you. Ready? She got you. You ready? Hey, we, we had a pod. I'll give a pod. I'll share. One one, one, one little Republican thought I had the other day. I hear this. I, I, I'm oh, dying to hear this. I'll give it right to you. Get right to you. All right? So <laughs> Monday, I hit so up at noon. Hey, need to run to Fifth Avenue right quick. He comes, he picks me up. I get in the car. We zoom over to the tunnel. It's not a car at the tunnel at 12 o'clock on a Monday, noon. We go through the tunnel. We're the only car in the tunnel. Ain't no cars in the tunnel. We come out the tunnel, that whole little Port Authority area. It ain't a car in sight. He busts a right on 42nd Street. <laughs> ain't no cars. It's a couple buses. That new, that new tax. He, he made a left <laughs> on 7th. <laughs> Nigga, wasn't nobody there. I said, so, is it a holiday? Is there something happening that I'm missing that I don't know about? He said, nah, it's a normal day. He said, what it could be, though, is people may think that that congestive pricing thing started. You see up there on the lights? Yep. Looked up on the light. They had the big little robot. <laughs> I said, uh, that is exactly what's happening. People think that the congestive yeah. pricing has started to $15 when you enter the mm-hmm. city to $15. That whole shit got that shit clear. And as a nigga that's up... <laughs> <laughs> Boy was I happy about that Make some noise Make some noise Finally Manhattan The Mecca The Mecca We can drive Keep there Keep these bums the fuck out of here Look at it now Look at it now niggas is trying to shop It's turn around not, Look not a car in sight Yeah look at it now Look not a car And that's Harlem They go to Harlem Get out Get y'all asses up to Harlem nigga That shit is clear Yeah they go to Dr. J Get y'all ass off the fifth half. Not the J. Oh, I was happy about that. I felt bad for a second. You stupid son. Nigga, I did what I had to do was right back home in 35 minutes. Wow. That's crazy. I'll pay that 15 to keep the bum out. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying that. No. I'm paying that. Damn. Bye. Bum. Bye. But yo, ain't that just for people coming from downtown? Up, uptown or downtown? Anybody entering. <laughs> anybody. But we've we been paying. You, yeah, we pay. No, we no. We pay to get no, into the city. No, it's not no, to get into the city. No, you gotta pay again. again. Hold you gotta on, pay hold, again. Hold, time out. You gotta pay again. What you mean? Because the, the, the bridges right. and tunnels is damn near $20. You have to pay, pay again. No, it's between a certain amount. It's between like uh, like 34th and 96th or something like that. Hold and on. So let me ask you a question. You yeah. telling me it's $35 to get into Manhattan? Yes. Yes. If you want to go into that part of Manhattan. Let They're trying you. to keep everybody out of fucking Midtown. Let me ask you another question. Yeah. Is the PATH train still 275? Yes. I, well, I don't know. Time out. I'm lost. I was in the city the other day. No, I'm just. I'm. Just, I'm asking for clarification. Check your check. Check your uh, easy pass. <laughs> they got you. <laughs> as far as I know, between the hours of like what is it, six a.m. nine a.m. to nine, 9 a.m. Yeah. to nine p.m. Nine to nine. If you're trying to get in between 
34th to 96th, you're driving in there, that's where you're going to get the congestion tax. So if you're above 96, below 34th, you're fine. And we have people in Hawaii listening. So oh, that's, that's all this the is, they might need to know this shit if they come that's visit New York. all the time we can yeah. spend on yeah. this. God. But thank God. Yeah. Woo. Sounds nice. I like it. Look, yeah, look at the, up, the two up ones. Yeah, y'all niggas is up. Parks that sound nice. On oh, Patreon. I don't drive to Manhattan on Patreon, I'm going to get you. <laughs> on yeah. Patreon, I'm going to get you. Yo, that's crazy. Man. As long as they don't change the path train. Uh, what Ooh. else? What else? What else? They was on Kenya Barris' ass. For what? What are you doing? They was on Kenya Barris' ass. Uh, and Mel don't know a thing. If it ain't on Spiritual Healer, <laughs> the neighborhood talk. Dot com. Yeah, Mel don't know a thing. Miss Well Red herself. I saw that. I Mrs. That. Well Red. What is it? Kenya Barris says. No, it's an interesting. Um. You know, it's an interesting time for musicals right now, so we'll see where that goes. And we are, you know, super excited about that. I'm super, I'm doing it. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. You know, Paramount was super excited about that and reimagining the telling of that and some different things. So I think that I, I'm still a believer in IP. And I think I get shit for it sometime, but I still believe, like, you know, the idea of some of those great stories, you know, the stories are all kind of told again and again and again. So having the ability to take some of those bigger IPs and tell them from, a different point of view, I think, is a is a gift that I'm hopefully keep getting. No, you can't say too much, but what about oh, your perspective on it? It's are the you most excited about? Here go the trap. And what? Uh -oh. I actually want to ask about both of them, both Wizard of Oz and It's Wonderful. Here it comes uh, Wizard of Oz for me. I you know it it happens. I'm from Inglewood. It happens. In Inglewood, from a girl who lives in the bottoms, which is which is <laughs> Darby Park, which is a part of Inglewood, and it it takes place under she falls into Inglewood, and I. It, the original Inglewood took the original Wizard of Oz took place during the Great Depression, and it was about self reliance and what people are going through. I think this is a perfect time to sort of like switch with the characters and talk about what someone imagines their life could be. And it's ultimately a hero's journey. Someone thinks something is better than where they're at, and they go and, and realize that where they're at is where they should be. I want people to sort of be proud and happy. All right. So I saw that he was he's going to remake the Wizard of Oz, but he's going to like totally remix the story. Yes. Oh, and my. people are like, hell no, fuck no. a black girl no. from the projects in Inglewood. Also, oh, Ariana Grande won't be in it. No. <laughs> no. Unless he's, she's going to be and he's the remake, Good Witch. He's remaking the issue. the Good Witch. That sounds racist. He's remaking yeah, well, It's yeah, a Wonderful right. Life. And he's line. doing It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> oh, I got and, the tattoo on my chest, man. We don't want, I don't want that nigga to remake that. That could actually work out well for you. True. Yeah. I get the black people <laughs> on my chest. Yeah, okay. Anyway, they mm. killed him for his reimagining of... Was it of all? They killed him for the way that he reimagined. They've been killing him for quite some time now, but. Well, who was killing him? The, the streets. I, I like his. Um, so black people don't want to see this this interpretation. No man, so she, I don't know. I'm just asking. We it, want you it, to leave certain shit alone. No, so I like what he said. Man. Come on, we don't want to see that. shit. I like what he said. Like the Wizard of Oz came out at a bad time. And it kind of almost was reassuring the people that you could have it worse. Uh huh. So I mean, I never looked at it that way. But what that's about what the, he said. so what about yeah, the whiz, nigga? They had the whiz. <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to do, yo? You know what I mean, yo, I was the whiz. Is that bullshit? I don't know. I, I mean, I, the way he explained it, it sounded all right. Now, if he can, if he can translate that to actual film, it might be all right. What's your opinion? Uh, I see why some of the criticism is aimed his way. I understood it with Blackish. I understood it with uh, what's the other one he came out? Grownish, Grownish, Mixedish, yeah, Mixedish. Yeah, I, I, that one was I bad. do understand the criticism that goes his I way. Couldn't even get into it because of the name. So, I ain't gonna hold you. So here you are again, taking a classic, making it downtrodden and. Mm. All the, it, 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 uh, there's a there's a there's a few of these showrunners and producers and directors that have the green light in Hollywood to create black Content. stories and what they do with it oftentimes is black people don't really. Yeah. But I, again, I can't speak on it. But I've seen Blackish a couple times. I ain't think it was that bad. I couldn't get past the name though. I ain't gonna hold you. Blackish was great. Blackish was great. It was amazing. It's because you're all blackish. No, it's you too. Because your name is Ish. You too. You you beige. <laughs> you up up. You know what I'm saying? But that's Slaps colorism. Me. That's another call from Mama Faye. 
Racking them up. <laughs> Racking them up. I wasn't even talking about that. Hey, tell my mom. I was talking about <laughs> Don't tell me. Money wise. You tell my mom, yo. What's cool? <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, well, listen, I don't know if y'all are tired of hearing about it as I am, but Ye and Ty Dolla Sign have. Oh, I'm done with them. Yeah. <laughs> and and now they put a trailer out. Uh, the album is three volumes. Uh, first one is, I believe, February 9th. Then it's. Part volume two is coming out in March and volume three is coming out in April. I believe it when it's in my fold. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Is it supposedly point? three separate albums or three separate? I don't know nothing. We don't care. We don't, I will, we, I don't Kanye, believe it. shut the fuck up. Stop it. It's over, yo. It's over. Nobody cares. Nobody believes you. We just oh, want the music hope at that this that homeless point, nigga uh, scream at you some more <laughs> in was LA. Funny. That, was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, shut up. No more talking. You have used all of your talking cards. No more words, only music from you. And no teasing of the music, no teasing of release dates. All your only job on earth for us right now mm. is to just drop it. Just drop I the think, music. I think he's trying to get the business right with the music to get it to drop. Because I noticed like even when they, they had put the little pre-single out, I always look at the copyrights now because I want to see what company is is claiming ownership for this. And it just had the... The yen logo and the dollar sign logo, like 2023 with those two logos. So I'm not, I don't know what that means. Then there's the rumored 40 minute apology yeah. to yeah. like, yeah. The dog. teeth. Hmm? His teeth. Yeah. There's a lot teeth. going on. Invisalign? Hmm? He got Invisalign? No, right. apparently, like he shaved all his teeth down. Now he has like a, what, a titanium grill or something like that. I don't know. Congrats. Mm -mm. Uh, or not. Or I'm Man, sorry. we just look, look, hey Kanye, man. We just want the music. Like That's we, it. we we fuck with all that, you know, cool musically is where we rock with you that, at, Yeah, bro. dog. Just I'm, drop that. I don't care about you deleting your Instagram, making it back again. I don't care about your new shoes. I don't care about none of that. I was naked wife. Yeah. I was about to say, what'd you guys think about the picture of his uh, the Which most one? recent picture of his wife, the most recent one? Where she was wearing like the body floss and the murder house mask, standing at a kitchen. I don't know what. It's cream doing. of wheat. That's what he said. And he, cream of wheat. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Drop the <laughs> album. I'm That's sorry. what I think about it. Anything, Kanye. Where's the album? Every time he show her, it looks like she's been kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. Is what I'll say. She don't look like she's there on her own <laughs> free will. Free will. <laughs> he got to walk around barefoot. <laughs> he got to wear in toilet tissue. <laughs> Yo, Kanye, to be that he level, having, he just having fun. to be that level of creative, girls are always like a creative till they get till they get one. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking today. This is my vision. <laughs> I just want you to wear a leaf. I want you to walk outside with this bag of dog food on your head. Some banana skins <laughs> on your bark. feet. Bark. <laughs> bark. <laughs> nah, you see the oh, the 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 photographers that was getting girls to just do some stupid shit for the for the photo. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That was the whole 2010s. Word. Like yo, yo, just get in the washing machine. Take this picture. It's art. It's art. The whole 2010s. It was amazing. That was, it, was, that was, it, amazing it was the best time. shit ever. Mel had a little clip that went viral, huh? A little uh -oh. old school clip walking around rooting that toot. <laughs> <laughs> rooting that toot, tooting that root. <laughs> uh? Yeah, and somebody said, this used to be considered a big ass. Yeah, I saw it. I, yeah. saw, I saw him say that. Yeah. Shit, I, I think about that. Remember the Wankster video? Scarlet. That was the ass at that time. 17. <laughs> 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 He said we thought about the boss saying everybody the best shit. Oh man. What? How could you have watched that video and not this is what it is. You know, I'm tired of y'all. Hold on, let me sit up. She's in Atlanta, by the way. She's good ish. Nobody loves me quite like you do. <laughs> this is what happened with me, and then we can move on. At some point early in my 20s, I came to the realization that any girl I see, like on television, VHS, DVD, actress, model, <laughs> singer, entertainer, chef, <laughs> I realized I could have them. So then I, there was a period of time where I just went about trying to do that and was successful a lot. 
And if you didn't try to do that when that wankster video dropped and them red sweatpants mm-hmm. went walking, walking in that, that bodega, bodega, yep, then we are not the same. That shot, that scene fucked up. That was the oh. one. Mm-hmm. It, and, it didn't matter that she ain't turned around. I was gonna find her. Mm-hmm. That scene. And Scarlett was mad cool. Shout out to Scarlett, man. Shout out to all the cool chicks that shout just held niggas down over the years, man. And shout out to my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my baby, man. All of y'all led me to her. Hey, yo, real, real quick, Joe. You, you, owe me an, up? you owe me an apology. Oh. You said I didn't go viral this year, which wasn't true. Uh, I went viral at the top of the year twice. Old video, you know, that refurbished, but, you know what I mean? And I was on the news recently in Memphis. Um, so when you talk to me, I don't have to go viral off the strength off of you and your platform that I'm on, but I go viral on my own. I need you to acknowledge that. I'll send it to you so you could, next podcast. If you got to send it to say me, the numbers. it wasn't viral. Yeah, say the numbers. But if you have to send it to me, it no, wasn't viral. No, no, and was I don't viral. get the Memphis news no. in my house. No, I'm just saying, but you, you, you niggas is Well, they shouted you, you out on local. the Memphis news. You niggas is local. Ooh. What's up, Ish? God. Actually, whatever you want, nigga. You got to viral off somebody else's merit, nigga. Actually, anything you want, go. You the only one to take the viral thing as such a like slight and a slap in the face. Because you did it. Not not with my man. No, you. you. We don't care. Why did you do it? You, you did the it to, only you, one that cared. That's why you I did, did it. it to insult me. Why? Yes. Your, your co-host to the left of me turns her face and snicker when she's supposed to be cool. That's why I wear two socks. Why this nigga right here <laughs> with the funny eyes, like oh. Mm-hmm. Ice is the only one, and Park is the only one that just keep a straight face. Y'all niggas, y'all three are traitors. What's that word you You old niggas. Insolent. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just child, right? Oh, I'll shit. take that. I'll take that. It wasn't that. just child, you said. It was insolent. Insolent. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Get, your shit, get your shit off. Baby. Get your shit How off. How did you feel when Mel You made me insolent. When Mel said that. You made me insolent, nigga. Huh. Okay. Your sugar's high? I'll tell you that. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'll tell you that. Uh, How did I, feel? I didn't like it, Joe. Well, how, do I, how do we get into this? Cause he does that, and y'all don't hold me down. You you said this. The nigga said, yo, yo, the, the nigga, yo, they got they got threads of it. Yo, Flip must feel crazy. They got fucking YouTube blogs. <laughs> Flip must feel I'm, crazy. I'm gonna bite, bite my tongue, my that, man. You my man. Nah, don't bite your tongue. Hmm? Don't bite your tongue? No. You sure? Positive. Get your you, shit off. You bragging about going viral in Memphis? No, I said I was also okay. I used to <laughs> Nigga can't go viral in his hometown. I got you. I just went viral. I said I was also in the Nigga news. can't go Queens viral. I, I said I, I just went <laughs> viral on top Memphis of the Flip? year. <laughs> Hold on, I got the proof. <laughs> oh shit. I, I, I didn't hear nothing. Would you say ice? No, I ain't say nothing, man. Yeah. I went viral and then I said they just spoke about me on the news in Memphis. I, I gave you right. two scenarios. My bad, I got it wrong. Yeah, make make sure. And nigga, watch your mouth, nigga, because if it wasn't for your man, you wouldn't have went viral, nigga. I don't want to go viral. You can't go viral your own merit, I don't nigga. want talk, to. Talk and go viral, nigga. I don't want to. Go fucking stand up there on one two fifth. Go talk to the kids and offer them advice and then go viral and talk to me, nigga. My go? Yo. I'll, I'll crack you. You better stop. You better stop. Because the shit you went viral for ain't popping, nigga. To who? Uh-oh. You and it put a lot of money in my pocket, nigga. Uh-oh. What's, 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 the, Memphis, what's the Memphis thing? Did that. Clear out? I don't know. You do know. What's the Memphis thing? What if it? In the snow? Yeah. No. That's what I went viral for. Uh, Again, uh, in the snow, nigga. What happened? We talking about the fire shit? No, get, go ahead. Keep going. What happened in the snow? I was holding on to something. Being, a video I created, nigga. Mm-hmm. My creation of my thought. Playing the Beach Boys. Mm-hmm. What say you? I don't want to go viral. So you I, viral that's not an accomplishment like for me. That's a salute. Okay. But you are talented. <laughs> what do y'all think of uh, Drake doing the uh, day in the life TikTok trend? <sighs> It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. For other co-hosts. <laughs> I didn't I, keep, I didn't see I it. I didn't even see it. Yeah. I don't have TikTok. Drake is having fun. That's yeah. all it I keep I told y'all when y'all He's talked about the boots. Mm-hmm. I, this is his idea of I'm bored and I'm having fun. I have to mm. co-sign that. I saw it. I have to co-sign that wise. Yeah, he's just in, he's just living his life. You don't have to, you can have your own thought. Oh, shit. No, I just think Especially that about something you never saw. Thought you was doing the work on the pod outside of the pod. Oh, it's not missing time with your family, bro. Don't start. <laughs> I'm telling you, right you ready now. to crack niggas up? Ready for? Are you up to? Oh, because that's not what I said. Patreon but, part two. That's not what I said. Part two. But okay. Q-B-C. Your man is here. Your man is over there saying QB three. Father part three. Yeah, <laughs> it's got me part two. I'm gonna get you too. I'm gonna get you. Be ready. I watched the shit back and I was mad that I didn't do no frying up like y'all. I was too chill. I'm ready to get into it now. <laughs> Yeah, don't leave me out of the fry-ups. 
I went home and thought about shit. All right. What else? What else? What else? Uh, that's all y'all got about the Drake day in the life? No. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, having, he's having fun. No, nah, I just think that's He's it. having fun. He's living his life, man. Like, he got Yo, so could, much money. Could, could you imagine what if you don't got to work? Imagine what you would be doing if you don't got to work. <laughs> what are you yeah, doing? Yeah. Is he... What's, what are you doing? What's up with you, son? That's hate. Hello. Go ahead. I'm looking at you. Enjoy his I'm life, looking at him. Man. Just having a good time. You know what I mean? Like, what else is there to do? But bro, the nigga knows how some to keep y'all talking. Do some don't. How about you give your assessment on what's going on in Drake TikToks? I can't. Why not? Why? You get paid to talk. <laughs> stop bothering like that. that you look, get paid to talk. That look crazy. I, I can't. I can't. I've already, I've already kicked his back into the top. Nobody's done it greater than me. <laughs> now it looks like abuse if I continue to do it and if he continues to be light skinned in his mansion. <laughs> But if y'all think there's nothing to say outside of, hey, he was just having a blast, then you got it. <laughs> Thank you. you got it. I think Drake knows how to you keep the people it. talking, and he's just doing shit to keep people talking, and it works. That's it. Nice facts. Okay. Anyway, yo, the, we, we have the conference championships, man. We? No, we're, no. Not. we're home. I'm talking about as as a fan of football. Well, I'm, okay, I'm home. That is true. That's true. I'm home. I got the same amount of wins as a team that didn't make the playoffs. That is true. <laughs> so y'all cool with a nigga making himself a drink? Blow the hookah in it? Yo, come on, <laughs> Joe. Jo I made me a drink the other day. Did you blow hookah in it? I ain't had no hookah. But if you did, would you have blown some hookah in it? No, nah, not in the drink. Don't look at it weird if a nigga get up and like make a whole mixologist cocktail and I didn't think and yet. then the drink holds the smoke and then you blow some more hookah smoke in it and inhale it from <laughs> just having a good time. Just having fun, right? Nothing else to do. Got you talking Nothing about else it. To got, got you talking, right? I'm asking you. Nah, what's gonna happen in six weeks when the when the hookah drink combo come out and it's forty nine ninety nine, then we're gonna look at the nigga and see genius. Niggas been doing that. I've seen that. I think he was showing off his skills. His bartending skills. Let the nigga have fun. It was. Because it wasn't hookah smoke. Well, he blew some hookah smoke, but it was like, it looked like nitro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just, just going to be me and Parks one day. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's just going to be me and Parks talking some shit. I'm going to fire all of y'all. <laughs> Every one of y'all. Watch. When I go home tonight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and do my day in the life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you should. And when I do it, when we come back to work, we're saying, "Oh, he's having fun." I no, we're <laughs> no, yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's no, we're it. not. That's it. I'm put on my little special pajamas, do a little twirl. <laughs> well, the twirl is a little extra. He was twirling. He was laying by the fireplace. <laughs> nice fireplace. I was trying to figure out those angles because it looked like one of the angles was from inside the fireplace. We all gonna let that sit right I'm there. <laughs> all right, we get in this. Y'all gotta pee. We get in this. We get in this. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It looked this like nigga. it was from inside the fireplace. Man, it was listen, full on. Bro. It was a full Drake on. Drake is a light skinned Canadian, and I'm not trying production. to be a colorist. But uh, what do y'all expect from this nigga to, but to do goofy shit? I can't say it. Yeah, you can. You was reminiscing? Wow. He was there. Let's go, Ish. You said you was, you was, think, you was thinking about she, the angles by the fireplace. Was, it was right there, man. I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, she probably wasn't at that crib. Everybody yeah. in here was like, yo. Yeah. Yeah. She came through way before that. Yeah. <laughs> way before And I knew that, that angle already. You know what I mean? I, you got it. I don't want no yeah, sauce. She ain't been allowed to that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't shoot at her like that. I ain't shooting at her. If she was there, he wouldn't have to make himself a drink. <laughs> <laughs> or blow Why do you have a problem with that, though? I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, just just let me ask you a question. <laughs> uh, no, come oh, on, we move on. Move on. Yeah, I just want to know what you what what should we say, nigga? We ain't see the video. A nigga want to make himself a drink and do a video. Have at it. Playing the internet game. Let him have fun, nigga. Have at it. But if he did something salacious, let me know. <laughs> How old do you have to be to not play in the internet? Oh, games? that's a different question. I'm asking you. Um, nowadays, yeah. no age. True. I was about to say. Because these niggas be 55 years old doing goofy internet shit. Super goofy and shit. And they catch his fire and they run with it. And, and they continue and to do it. And then they say COE. No, that's true. I didn't think about it from that angle. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm done with you. Moving on. Uh, I'm trying to find part of the show. I'm part lost. of the show. So we're not going to talk playoffs? Uh, playoffs? 
I don't care. Hey, team in it or not, this is still football. It right. is. It and is. The games have been super duper in. They have. Well, tighter. except for Baltimore. Whoop Houston. Pretty good. That's true. They whoop their ass. They whoop That's their true. ass. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I, it's early. Mm-hmm. I reserve the right to change my opinion. I don't know if I'm betting against Patty Mahomes, man. Me either. Oh, please. Me either. I am. Me Every either. chance I get. Fam. Every chance I get, it I'm betting against It pains me to him. my core. This year. But you, you, you pick Buffalo? Yeah. I did. You got damn right I picked, I picked Buffalo. Buffalo. I didn't. You got I damn did. right I, I picked, picked Buffalo. I picked them by a big score. You did. Mm-hmm. No, they shouldn't. Have. Buffalo. <laughs> How they should have won. They definitely should have won. It's football, so you can't say that the team that won won. But mm-hmm. they 100% should have won. We should have at least put themselves in a better position to win. They was in, mm-hmm. they was in the best better. position to win. Better. They was in the best position to win ever. They were they, in the best position to tie. No, 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 no. You talking about after we talking about. Uh, the, after, before uh, before that McCole Hardman slip up in the end zone that uh-huh. puts Kansas City up two scores, uh-huh. Buffalo had at least three to four chances to make that a two-score game, which they, they just, which they just did not. No, the, and, the and Chiefs have a very good defense. The they Chiefs just allowed defense them from doing them from it. Oh, I, the I totally disagree game. with that. Josh Allen had that ball on a string, and everybody dropped it. Everybody dropped it. Now, can't say that because if you don't catch it, you don't catch it. But he put that ball everywhere it needed to be. His number one receiver disappeared, had like six yards. Again, again, by Uh, the way, lost me money. Buffalo, with all of those players out, no Gabe Davis, no Von Miller, no all of them. I said all that before the game. Yeah, but I still picked them, and they still showed up. Now, uh, the championship pedigree of the Chiefs comes through. And a championship that, defense. That part I may have discounted. Uh, I loved Jason Kelsey in the stands. Wild. Being Wild. Jason. Did you I see love him him. do that vertical jump back up? Yes. That was, that was insane. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was unbelievable at that weight. Dude was 300 pounds and he just Athletes, jumped bro. up five yeah, feet. World-class athlete, my nigga. I loved him in the parking lot after, like, drinking with the fans. Mm. He signed autographs for the, for the little girl Bill fans. Like, that just is what NFL retirement is supposed to look like for right. me. Or just he, a class act. He period. picked the kid up and yeah. brought the kid over to the, uh, the box so that they could see Taylor Swift. Like, yeah. All that shit is He fine, smoked man. that. And, and it was so great that, you know, Buffalo fans was fucking with mm-hmm. him, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not here because... Uh, I'm a football player. I'm a football right. fan. I'm not a yeah. Chiefs guy. I'm, I'm a, a football yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. And right. I, I did like that. I think that um, Mahomes is just Mahomes, bro. Like he goes home this week. Some people bring in some intangible shit to the to football where they just pull a win out of their ass. Mm-hmm. That's just happening. We've seen certain people have it and certain people don't. He got it. I take all bets on the Chiefs versus the Ravens. I take any all of the bets. I, I got, got him going I, home. I got this the week. Ravens, man. I this th- this I is see the Spags week. lining up fucking Lamar and them right now. I, I reserve yeah. my right to change my opinion, right, right, but you. that I, defense early, early. is for real, coin, for real, for real. Yeah, I think they underrated. I think it's a coin toss. I really think it's a coin toss. You can't. The only thing is, again, I keep saying it. You can't plan for what Lamar can do. There's no way you could really. But you can't plan, plan for, against that during the week. You can't plan for the experience that the Chiefs have, or or for Mahomes. Yeah, you can't plan for that. He falling down, throw the shit sideways. Like yeah, he just always find a yeah, way to make. Just you think you got him? Yes, it's about to be third and twenty eight. Yeah, yo, he go and convert. Dog, I looked mm. at Corey when the Bills got the ball back with eight minutes left in the game and said, "Pat Mahomes will not see the field again if it's me. He will not see this field again." And with proper game and clock management, like pop proper third down management. That would have been the game. That's what they did against the Steelers. Dog, I think they, they had the ball for that, damn near the that, whole that, third And quarter. this is the pivotal throw for their me. Their arrogance. That throw where it was a second down. It was a second down. And Josh, see, Josh kept going for the kill. Yes. He was trying to end them niggas because he it's a respect thing. Mm-hmm. He and kept deep ball, boom, come on, somebody score, deep ball, boom. That's not, not necessarily just, a not great even strategy, a, I don't, But I don't think it's a respect thing. We Look what keep happening. I can't play yeah. for the time. I have to kill. I have to score. I have I to can't kill. Leave that's it up that's, to that's the, how no. I took it too. Yeah. So if that's your attitude, right? That second, that one second down in the fourth where he threw that shit to the end zone short. Uh-huh. That was the that was the play where he was just supposed to throw it to the cross route, get some yards, and get closer. That was the play that he was just supposed to get closer. And if that happens, I just think that game goes a little bit differently. But he didn't. Went for the kill. Didn't work. Pat is pat. Game time. I, I think I think they were a little too arrogant. Who? Buffalo? Buffalo. I think on that last drive, they just knew we gonna score. 
So we running all the time down, so they can't get the ball back with no time, which is which good, is smart. smart. Uh-huh. And I think a few plays flustered them to the point where it was like, oh, shit, what if we don't score? You know what I mean? And I think that's what happened. But that shit with um, Hartman or Harden dropping the ball in the end zone, you can't, that don't happen. What do you mean it don't happen? That rarely happens in football where you get a touchback from the one yard line that, that happens in football where a nigga fumbles. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I don't care. About I'm just that, saying, that but. Play. That play meant nothing to me. Oh, okay. That play meant absolutely nothing to me. You got it. Congratulations to the Chiefs. To uh, everybody. I got the Lions. Do you? I would love. To see I would love to see. I don't know. I got I the Niners. Dude. I have I the Lions against. The Lions I have the Lions against the Niners. The I'm, Niners I'm, look rusty last week. I like the Niners. I'm, I, like the Lions. I like how the Lions match up with the line uh, with the Niners. I love. I love them top to bottom. I gotta see if Debo's playing. I love how they have played. I don't even care if Debo's playing. Shit. Yeah. I think the ghost of Cam changer. Newton statement continues to ring true. Uh, that everybody killed him about with Dak, Brock, and. Uh, that other quarterback. I forgot the other one now. The ones he called game managers. But Tua. Tua. Tua, Brock, and uh, Purdy. Purdy. I think that continues to be true. I don't know People how. People say the same thing about uh, golf. Golf ain't, though. Golf ain't. I don't care what nobody say. I had, I picked golf up or fantasy two years in a row when he was on the Rams going nuts. Mm-hmm. He was going nuts on the Rams. He got there with the Rams. He did. He, he just did. didn't make it was one throw that he threw long and that was the end of it there. And I think that's one of the trades that worked out for it both did. teams. It it did. Did. Now I don't think that Goff is a game manager though. I don't. Never viewed him like that. He wasn't in college. He wasn't on the Rams. I don't like the game manager title. title I think it's whack. It um is. I don't. I, I think it's applicable. I disagree. Some of the some of the fr- throws that Purdy are making, those are quality Tom throws. Tom Brady is the best quarterback of all time, and he and is he's a very game, arguably he's a game, game manager. manager. Yes. He's the epitome of a game manager. Po- he, he po- he go, yeah. No, with no moss. He's the epitome of a game manager. Tom Brady is a game manager. Mm-hmm. Yes. But he's the greatest. So how he manages the game is just the greatest. We watch him do it. When people say the game manager, they're saying you're a game manager only. You don't have those other things. So... That's what they're trying to say. Listen, I like Detroit. I think the fairy tale continues. Sorry, Niners. Sorry, Niners. I'm rooting for them. I got Niners, Ravens, man. I'm, yeah, I'm rooting for Detroit, Baltimore, nigga fest. From, from week 13. <laughs> A nigga, nigga bowl. <laughs> I want to so go to Vegas out. and see niggas everywhere. When I go down and get a little coffee in the morning... I want to see niggas hung over gambling in the casino. <laughs> I want to see niggas walking up to their room with the five scallywags that they got from wherever they got them from. I want to see niggas. I want to see a nigga with a screwdriver trying to break in one of them machines. I want to see a fight break out. I want to see niggas. I want to see extra security in Vegas. Because it's too many black people out here, yeah. Y'all had y'all fun with all that F1 shit oh, and yeah, all that no, no, billionaire no. shit. Now, niggas. <laughs> niggas. The Ravens get there, you're going to see that regardless. It don't even have to be the Lions. The Ravens go, the niggas are showing up. No, it's double trouble. I want to see some Detroit I know, niggas. I, know. It's yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. see some niggas from Detroit up in there. <laughs> the Buffs. Pimp hats. Hey, speaking of furs. <laughs> I don't care if we in Vegas. Furs is out. <laughs> oh, it's cold. <laughs> Vegas is not warm. So Yo, the spe- furs speaking fly. of Detroit, real quick, I do want to give a shout out to um 42 Doug, what he 42 Doug, what he did. He had a homecoming concert um Friday. Had the whole CMG. He had um Boosie, Jeezy, Meek, Dirk, Lil Baby. But the important part about it, he had what was like a, a, a versus for the city of Detroit. It was um, Team Eastside versus Doughboy's Cash Out, who have like a storied history between the two of them. Mm-hmm. So it was good to see. They, they sold out the, um, I think it's the, called the Joe Lewis Arena. Sold out the arena, and you had two sides that kind of had static mm-hmm. on stage together putting on for the city That's of dope. Detroit. And the crowd looked every bit of the, uh, what he just described. Everybody coming out, furs. Mm-hmm. Buffs everywhere. It was some super, super hood Detroit shit. But and from what I heard, it went off without a hitch. Like no, nice. no issues or nothing. That's so fun. that's dope. That's dope. When you see people that you know, we put our shit aside. Look, come on, let's do this for the city. Mm-hmm. So a real fire. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's dope. Uh, 
I want to honor, in, in the name of black excellence, I want to shout out Antonio Pierce. Congratulations. Well deserved. Facts. Well deserved. Congratulations well on deserved. getting that coaching gig. Take that interim shit off. De yeah, definitely well deserved. They balled out when he took they over. They balled out. He did? Yes, same, they, same yes, they did. Same exact roster. Uh -huh. He just he, he got something out of them that the other coach couldn't get. Yeah, he absolutely bodied that. And we're all about equality here in honor of white excellence. I want to highlight the uh, coach of uh, the Stanford women's team who I think tied Coach K all time. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, all time. That. And uh, okay. wins. NCAA really? wins. Let's get her name. Let's get her yeah. name. I know her because she's been her for mad long. So when Stanford come up there, you know her when you see her. But let's get her name. Tara Van Devere. Okay. Tara Van Devere. Yeah. Van Devere. I'd have never Stanford. got that right. Yeah. Yep. Really? Also in white excellence. Uh, that just, that just was just a random question. I had. Where the fuck is G-Eazy at? That's a good question. That's a good one. He disappeared a little bit, right? Yeah. Huh. Hope he's all right. Cool. What was the last thing y'all heard about him? Was it scandal? No. No, no drama? Music. Okay. Yeah. Maybe but it's, been, was a music. Long but it's been a minute, though. Yeah. It's definitely been a minute. Maybe he's just taking some time off to be with himself. Doing the inner work. Doing the inner work. Two times a month. Yeah. Mm hmm. That was that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what made me think of him. You was on that beat, too. I love that beat. You was I love that, that song. Beat. That song is Crazy. damn near perfect. Yeah. Mm. I want to be a cool. rapper. Rap? Mm. No. Go ahead. It's not too late. I'm good. It's they can't late. rap today anyway. It's you too good. <laughs> it's, it's too late. That's a good one. Yeah, you get out there today. That's today is the time to yeah. do a rap. Um, old oh, rapping ass nigga. What are we gonna be calling you? <laughs> Green eyes. Oh, before you do part of the show, for because um, we were talking about true crime, and I forgot to mention this, um, the L.A. Innocence Project is reopening um, or is taking on Scott Peterson's case. And I thought that was fucking wild. Because if the Innocence Project is taking on your case, that means that they have a true belief in your innocence and that you have been wrongfully convicted. So and Scott Peterson is the one the he white he, he was accused of killing his wife yeah. and his unborn child Lacey Peterson yeah. and his son Connor uh, um, back in like 2003. It was a massive case. I remember. Yeah, it was, it was all public everywhere. Yeah. So um, and his lawyer just feels like he was convicted on like circumstantial evidence and also <laughs> maybe some jury tampering and whatnot. Um, so the L.A. Innocence Project has taken his case. So. That is, that's probably, we got a documentary coming. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, there's been docs on that anyway, but. But the, but the Innocence Project taking it on, yeah. yeah. That's going to be wild. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Got a so, good one in there, Joe? So, oh, so what, what do you think happens if they find them innocent? Um, Public hour? Well, I mean, like, if they actually find, like, evidence that supports that he's innocent, then they could ask for a new trial. Mm-hmm. And then if he gets a, his conviction overturned, gets a new trial, then it's a new jury that determines his guilt or innocence, or it's a judge trial and he determines guilt or innocence. So that's, that's what I'm sure that they're hoping for is a new trial at the very least, if not just completely like overturning the conviction. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Oh, and that fiery festival is coming up again. <laughs> Just in case y'all, you know I mean, where's nah, gonna be? I'm cool. Yeah, I, no, think no, I'm no. I didn't inquire, nigga. Oh, Fiji. Yes. <laughs> Fiji. 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 I, I'm Tahiti. not going. Uh, Definitely. Tavian Jones. Tavian Jones that was sent up. in mad questions. But this one says Dear JBP, I hope this finds you all well. I'll try to be as direct as possible. My question is How as a man can you amicably break up? Because it's never quite worked out for me. And I'm starting to believe that we're not allowed to leave the relationship without it being weaponized by women for clarity. Uh, oh, for clarity, I'm a stepper. Yet between the emotional breakdowns, I'm not leaving crying games. Good pussy. Her pretending the relationship is fine when confronted and recognizing this girl is a mess and needs someone, but it cannot be you. I more than often stay in relationships, in one case a marriage too long, my go-to move, my go-to move is to get caught cheating or ghost, which yields equally bad results <laughs> sometimes. And to be honest, I'm tired of the charade. Please help. P.S. Joe, 
They fucked up LTD Love Ballad. Go look. Oh, thanks. It's my song. <laughs> Gentlemen and lady, do you have any advice for Tavian? He not talking to us. Wait, I have, yeah, he is. Yes, the fuck he did. He said gentlemen. And he said lady, too. No, he didn't. Oh. Well, you're here, Mel. Stop. I'm, no, I'm good. I'll, uh, oh, I, I have know, a p- Wait, I have a question, though. Go first, though. He said, I'm a stepper. Translation? He's I don't want to just go with the obvious. Outside. I do what I do. Yeah, he oh, does. he yeah. steps outside. He cheats. Okay, yes. got it. No, no, that's not no, what I mean. Oh, see, look, yeah. see, leave me up no. to my own devices. No, I'm going to come. It's like I, 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 do, I get busy. Yeah. I can get what? He I'm, can get girls. I'm him. Got it. Okay, yeah. thank you. I would never have no, thought just, of that as the definition. white girl pop out of you so often, boy. Like, you too. What the fuck? Somebody want to go? You don't know no steppers? Maybe not the term. She knows some. I just thought it was niggas. Anyways, go on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Let's help. Right. Let's All help right. the man. Let's help the man. My trick is always to make them break up with me. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to be mature, of which it sounds like he is, and you want to leave that relationship, you you got the right idea. But I don't see where they always gonna weaponize it if it ain't their choice to leave. Um, nine times out of ten, if she don't want to break up with you, and you try to break up with her, and she's not at that same stage with you, they go through a whole list of. You know, try to convince you to stay. Try to seduce you to stay. Try to do like because she don't want to break up. Nigga, just have the conversation. And leave. Yeah, I, but the conversation I've only ain't had easy. it once. I've, I've had it once. happen a few times. Yeah, but even if she weaponizes you. Got that's what, that's what comes with it. Exactly. That's what I'm telling yeah, him. You he's trying that. to get. He's trying to get to the place of the breakup without the weaponization. Nigga, afterwards. It's, it's, it's no way to avoid it. it. Don't Breakups are hard. She break up yeah. with you. You can't avoid how hard a breakup is. That's just the best point of breaking oh, up. 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 It's but hard. Go out there and cheat, nigga. Nah. And I not bigger with you. I'm just no, saying. No, I don't. I don't say yeah. go with you. I've done this one time. I I was older. Um, it's probably one of the more more mature, mature things I did. I knew that this girl and I really didn't have a future, and so I went to her and I, I you know, I started off with complimenting her and saying how dope she was, but you and I really don't, we not compatible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so for that particular reason, I didn't want to further with the situation or the relationship. Um. I, I think that's the way to go about it. What was her response? How, how does she, what was yeah, how her she response? take it? She said no. Like, no, 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 I apologize. See? I apologize. Uh, I, and I was just like, no, you you apologize a bunch of times for the same exact thing. And mm-hmm. we just have different foundational principles. And I don't want to continue with this relationship. I think that, honestly, I'm not trying to be funny. No, typically, I would have just ghosted a girl that I didn't want to be bothered with no more. Um, but at this particular, you know, I, homeboy sounds a little older. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's the way you go about it. I think that even if she disagrees, she has no choice but to respect you. True. Later on, once the emotions go away, you respect how he exited the relationship. No, that ain't true either. Okay. I mean, you said she has no choice, but I'm just telling you, that doesn't necessarily have to be 100% accurate where she's going to respect you later. Because at the same time, you broke her heart. She can feel heartbroken and she's gonna she can hold that against you for whatever. And she's entitled to that, though. But on his end, you're trying to do the right thing. You want to be mature about it. You have that conversation with her. The unfortunate thing about a breakup is very rarely do both sides want to break up. Right. So whoever initiates that conversation, you probably are already mentally gone Mm -hmm. because you got to this point for the breakup. The other person is not there. They may feel blindsided. That's where the, no, I want to fight for this. Well, I don't want to fight for this. And now... Mm-hmm. the weaponization and all this you did me wrong like that's what he's speaking to that's going to happen because it sounds like she's not on the same page that he's on but feelings don't equal facts who cares about facts when they talk about feelings when you get caught cheating and all that other shit that gives her the ability to weaponize the relationship yo he did X to me he did Y to me girl I caught him doing blah 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 and you say yo this just is not working for me anymore you don't serve my purpose. I don't serve your purpose. Just I want to part ways. Mm-hmm. That's a more, a more mature route. And you know the emotional response to that is? You're saying that because of what? Because you, you found no, somebody else. You no longer fulfill. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. That, that's the, I'm just saying. Yeah. That's, I'm speaking to what, playing this all the way out. For what he's trying to get to, there is no real way to get to that unless she's on the same page. Okay. I have a question. Shoot. Sure. you have any take? Mm. Parks, you got to take? No, no, go ahead. Do you guys hear me when I say this and I am not shooting? I'm, I, this is a genuine question and maybe I'm not using the right words. Okay. But it sounds, whenever I hear questions like this, I'm like, 
do men genu genu like genuinely fear women's responses, like emotional responses? Is it that it's is it that it's just too much coming at you and you just don't know how or don't want to deal? Sometimes. A lot of men are not emotionally matured, so you, you don't know how to deal with that at that moment. The crying, the the nagging, well, I don't call it nagging, but you just don't know how to deal with it. You're not prepared for the response. Some niggas, man, they'll, they'll write something and put their phone down because they're just afraid or they're not willing to look at the response or can't take the response that come with it. So breaking up with somebody face-to-face -face and saying that, you know, we're not compatible, the shit that come with that, some niggas is not equipped to deal with it at that moment. So you could say it's afraid. I just think that... Or it's not even just afraid. If you are out of the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, you've, you've made the determination, I'm done with this. Teacher freeze. Right? You've made that determination, <laughs> I'm done with this. So now I have the face-to-face -face conversation with you. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little empathetic, but I don't really... I'm already checked out of here. I'm done. So all of that you're yeah, doing. Too many words. Yeah, you trying care. to fight and all this. I, I don't care. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't I'm, 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 at the, I'm past the point of caring. I understand. This. I've On the flip side, I've done this. Like okay. I have. Don't I've, try to be down with us. We talking about niggas doing it to y'all. <laughs> we don't care what you, you did. Were you scared of what his response was going to be? No, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Because I felt what I felt. Called heartless women. Well, I was done at that point. A stepper. A stepper. You're a stepper. And whatever. If they live, it's just, I'm whatever. A, I'm a stepper. I'm a stepper. I'm going to use it. Um, if I'm done, there's nothing that you can say. There's no amount of walking down memory lane. There's, there's, there's no amount of an emotional and manipulation that you'll be able to employ that is going to make me change my mind. If I am done, I'm, with you I'm going to keep on telling you there's nothing that you can say. This, mm -hmm. this is gonna, over. Are you, are you no, gonna, that's not true. Are you going to do a face to face? That's not true. How? I'm, I'm going manip to manipulate you right back. Yeah. And, no, you but I'm right saying back that, to daddy. Are you gonna are you gonna Please. do a face to face? What the fuck's you talking about? Oh, when I am mentally checked out, you may as well be a motherfucking eunuch. I do not see you as like a sexual human being right. anymore. Who You're saying sex. I received huh? that. No, meaning like relationship. Yeah. Like the a sex is part of a relationship. Sexual desire desiring your partner Why is part you? of a relationship. Mm. What are you asking me? No. Are you doing this face to face? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. At the, at, 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 I don't think so, man. You don't give me that. My life, yeah, yeah, you don't. I don't you don't give that to me. You don't give me a face to face person. Yeah. You give me a, probably an email. Oh wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> You're gonna disappear and send an email I from a hotmail too. I, because you can certain things that we could watch. Well, I, 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 I ain't checking that, that shit, shit no more either. So you oh, you relish in breaking people's hearts, Mel? Please don't say it, Mel. No. If we are at that stage, if we've got, if you've gotten me there. Yes. So what about your See, what on, about your mental on. health in that Why situation? Why does he have to get you there right. though? Why can't it just be the, like, yo? You hear the trick? Go ahead, freeze. No, no, no. Like you just, I don't like that. That you just said, why? If he got me there, mm -hmm. you can believe a you can leave a relationship without somebody getting you there. You mm. could be like, y'all have grown apart. You're out of it. It could be anything where you hit the person didn't have to do anything to get you there though. But he did. It don't got to be his fault. But that's he did. All I'm saying. But in this particular situation, he did. Okay. He did okay. a lot. Okay. He did a lot. Then that's you, well, then that goes but back then to what he was saying there, before. But then, but then there's been that's a totally different. But then there's been a situation where I just kind of fell out of love of, with the person. Yes, so I didn't I'm talking want, about that one. So I didn't want no. So then my directive is not to hurt, but I am going to tell you what that you it's over. How? I like being up front. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? That's crazy. Oh my god. I like being up front. Salute. That's what I like. I like being up front. How did that go in that, that situation where? Oh, freeze, All right, never please, mind. No. All right, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm going to be dogpiling. Which one? I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Go ahead. No, nah, I was just asking in the one where he didn't do anything and you were just over it. How did that conversation go? Once you said, I'm done with this. I mean, I was a little bit more delicate than that with him. Oh. The other one. Got you. Got where, it. you know. The, the result of the ending was because it was like a lot of pain and shit like that. That I was like, you know, stone cold Steve Austin. Okay. How is it done? How is it normally done to you when you're on the opposite end? Like when niggas dub you? Hmm? How, how do is niggas... it normally done to you when you're on the opposite end of that? Oh, you got the turn signal anywhere? No, come nope. Okay. Have a, has a man. We got really good, yo. I got you. such an amazing sleeper lined up for you guys, man. This little slap right here. Yo, the time has come again for me to 
Take the high road. Uh oh. Don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, uh, don't even. Don't take the high road. Don't even take the high road. Don't okay. even it just completely. Don't, no roads. Off no road. Roads. Off road. Off road. Off road, Joe. <laughs> Off road. Oh, I had a good prayer. No, no. I promise you, no. All right, I won't. Thank you. Then I'm done. Thank you. Thank Damn, you. I wrote this prayer down. Mm -mm. This was a good one. I was gonna wrap this brother in love. Nope, mm -mm. nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Damn. Mm -mm. I just off that. can't tell you. We off can't that. tell you because we off that now. High road. You hear that, spaces? <laughs> you hear that? You niggas keep trying to make me be messy, but nah. High road, Joe. Twenty twenty four, Joe. Forty three year old, Joe. No. There just, you go. Just no. Don't take Some that people road. don't even gotta deserve your energy. Gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. Gotta earn it, bro. You gotta earn it. You can't just get it like that. Mm -hmm. right, so like, just, say, like just, that. just get it like that. Right, no, we say, don't say nothing. No. So let me ask you a question. No. Let me ask you a question. If don't you ask him no question. Hold on, hold on, bro. Yeah. Damn, nigga. I'm yeah, saying like we you chill even, out. No. Oh my. God. Just say you wasn't taking the high road. What would you say? The Bucks fired Adrian Griffin. I can't. That's answer. crazy. The Bucks fired that's Adrian that's Griffin that's after wild. going thirty and thirteen, and they're talking about hiring Doc Rivers. Something foul had to happen. The Bucks Doc fire Rivers, niggas, Joe. The Bucks fire niggas, and I'm real close to believing that Doc curse. I, I believe it. So that's why I said, good luck. Go Shout ahead, go ahead, and take hire, that one if you want. Go ahead and hire Doc. I'm already sitting here mad that the Heat got Terry Rozier. That one, that one, that one's that's gonna hurt. Really come playoff time, good pickup for them. Yeah, it really is, and that's a great thing for Charlotte. Um, all right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this podcast. As much as we enjoy delivering it to you, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, uh, I bid you adieu, adios, hasta la vista, farewell, au revoir, all that shit I be saying. So long goodbye. So long goodbye. There you go. Dirty. Get them, ish. Uh, remember that life is a series of moments and moments pass. That's true. So let's make this one last. Where's the shot coming? As if it's all Where it? we <laughs> Have And lastly, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Are there any burning desires here? Is there anything that people need to get off of their chests before we end this podcast? I'm searching for last part, I promise to end with Prince at the Prince, Rock and Roll yeah. Hall of Fame. Uh, with that thing I'm a jiggy, and I did I not... It wasn't the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was the... No, I think it was Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I think it was While My Guitar Gently Weeps, if that helps. It was what? No, I'm a song. Find. No, yeah, it was Gently Weeps. Yeah. It, it was. I'm going to find it. Uh, do any of you guys have anything that you'd like to get off of your heart before this broadcast comes to an end? Uh, well, while you look, I just sure. want to send a local shout out, man. My, my, my two guys, uh, Louis JGL from The Hood, put on a live podcast this weekend, the 100th episode. It was extremely they were stressed out i went i was a part of it my brother arse was there he was a part of it a couple other good people gang and, gang 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 oh and, i want to say well i'm uh, not oh yeah no rico yeah no rico yeah, yeah. no no the, not that gang gang that's like gang. like i fuck with you yeah not i don't throw no no yeah <laughs> but i just want to shout them out because I, I like seeing people from from the hood do something good like that and everybody showed up to support so and so. i guess i want to dedicate this episode to my older brother do i love you uh, he lost his father this week. Oh, mm. shit. So, mm. rest in there's peace. that. Rest in peace. Do rest I love you? I hope you're well. You're in my dope. prayers. Yeah, I want to say shout out to my man, Mark Stroh. He lost his, his son this weekend. Mm. Mm. And Martin yeah. Luther King's son died, too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. really? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Wellington family, if you're listening. All right. All right. He came with a different kind of weep. Let's end this thing the way we supposed to end it with the GOAT, man. Prince Rogers Nelson. This song is so hard. It's harder with Prince. Pause. Hey. Uh-oh. Pass the fucking ball! Pass the ball! Oh my god. Stop down! Pass the fucking ball! Don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New Joe Biden.